one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside the Rogue One at Gary Whittem. Thank you for having me. Gary, I'm excited to have you. You have been killing it on the Kind of Funny X cast, talking about Starfield, sharing your impressions. It's been really fun, yeah. Having some bad takes, personally, when it comes to encumbrance, but we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, however, getting you in here for a stream is a rare occasion. It's a treat. And it's especially a treat today because we're here to talk about Gundog, your brand new book that you can go get right now, kindoffunny.com slash gundog. Many streaming fans will remember when you came in and joined us for Vampire Survivors. You said, hey, let's play Vampire Survivors. And I said, yes. And then I said, also, I want you to trade me Starfield in the fantasy The story of, of why we are here should be retold because it's, it's, I don't know if it's shameful or shameless or both, but yeah. it's, it's funny either way. So, of course, you can go to kindoffunny.com slash KF League 2023 and see our fantasy critic thing. It is, of course, PS I Love You vs. The X Cast. It was a dynamite episode at the beginning of the year that we did, uh, where we all drafted our teams of games, and then some people like me, Janet, and Blessing check in weekly, if not daily, to move things around. I wasn't even here. Like, my draft, like, Paris and Mike drafted all the games for me. I didn't even know what, what I had. And so then you just have a team of games you've never actually yeah. updated. There's a reason why my game company in, on the league is called I Don't Give a Fuck Games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Give a yeah. fuck. But you dra they drafted for you the number one pick, Starfield. Right. And when I saw Which you... Which I was happy about. I thought, well, that's good, that, that, good chance that's going to be well-reviewed, right? So. Yeah, hopefully. And so when I saw that you weren't interacting anymore and that there was really no chance for you to catch up, I hit you up and I tried to trade you 50 in-game dollars for Starfield. Yeah, a couple I, of times you came at me. I it sat on the train. With this, like, with this ruse of like, wouldn't it be funny if we hilarious. did this? Yeah, like, let's make good content out of yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And finally, on that Vampire Survivor stream, I laid it all out. I said, what else could I do to sweeten the pot? And you said, well, I have a new book coming out called Gundog. And if you would agree to promote that, do a stream about Starfield, but about Gundog, which is available at kindoffunny.com slash Gundog, you said you, in fact, would give me Starfield. I'm glad that I knocked you back the first couple of times you came at me. Because, you know, I didn't, I just, like I said, I don't care. Yeah. But I do, I do care about, like, doing anything that is to your advantage. Sure. Because I, I you, you, like, you clearly will win by any means possible. Of course. Right? You're happy to, to cheese your way to victory. And this is a really cheesy move that you I did. mean, uh, trades are trades. They're, 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 everything I did is perfectly legal. Oh, Janet I mean, Garcia's been trying to spread a rumor around here that I somehow broke the rules. I did not. Did Blessing ever give a ruling on this? The He's the commissioner. He had to yeah. approve the trade. He rubber stamped so it's it. All, so it's all, it's I mean, all yeah, perfectly it's above legal. board. It's all legit. It's within the rules. I wouldn't be surprised if next year maybe we say, you know, somebody makes a rule where you can't give away free promotion for a product or you know what I mean or maybe it's like if you're going to trade something it can only be in-game currency it Some, can't be IRL currency somebody said to me recently like I can't remember what it was in relation to but like, if you do something that's within the rules but after you do it they, they the have rules. to change the rules so you can't you, that, yeah you did something bad well I, you know what I got away with it Blessing did it uh, so we're going to stream Starfield today with your character which I'm very excited about yeah we're going to talk about Gundog your brand yeah. new book that's available at kindoffunny.com slash Gundog I love that you did but the URL it's so cool we are also going to debut something uh, of course, the deal was, Gary, that I would do a stream, the Gundog stream, yes. on twitch.tv slash kindoffunnygames, youtube.com slash kindoffunnygames. But the other agreement was that I would make you a commercial that I would put on all of my social media platforms. Oh, shit. Did, we did, did say this. Yeah, I forgot about that, though. And so we have made a commercial. You really wanted to win this league, didn't Very you? Very badly. I, I, it's hard to catch up to Janet sometimes, and so I needed that extra... Wait, uh, now, let me, let, before we get into the yeah. commercial, let me, yeah. uh, let me ask you this. Like, where do you... like? Has Starfield... Now that the reviews are out, yeah. right? It's reviewed well. Was yeah. it 87 on Metacritic yeah, or whatever? Right. Like, do you, right. was, has it... That's 70 it, points for it, me. It's given you a boost, right? Yeah, it has. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I'm, I'm looking pretty good right now. I, I mean, mean I got, so, there's we're, a lot of games left. A lot of how games mu left. How much of the season is left to play? And, like, where do you... Well, I mean, every big game still, right? Star you still have Spider-Man 2 coming out. Call it Modern Warfare 3. Stuff. We can bring that all up. There, so, I mean, how confident are you at this point of winning the league? I have a really good chance, but I, it's still anybody's game. Me, Blessing, and Janet. If are Starfield still very ends up being the game that like made the difference, like without it, you wouldn't have won. You I subtract think seventeen gonna, points from gonna, my, yeah. yeah, there's going to be a lot of a lot of sour wailing breaks. and gnashing of teeth. Yeah, you know how they are. Janet's always telling me how young she is, so she's got another thirty years to play the game. Don't Janet was like, like she, the way that she was tweeting, I got the impression that she was like actually like really annoyed about. Oh, it. Oh yeah, like, she how was. dare you she do was. this? No, no, Janet was. She, I think she's competitive, right? She, she is, is very yeah. competitive. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think it's also because it's not so much about like Janet winning or not winning. Yeah. It's really about whether or not you win because everybody knows that you are fucking insufferable when you win. And I win and, a like, lot. Like never awesome. hear the end of it. That's also true. But that I'm not here. But I'm not here. 
care every day, so it doesn't, it's not going to affect me. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you're writing movies and books. You don't have to worry about. I'm not writing anything at the moment. I'm not writing movies at the moment. I'm fucking strike. Strike. Support everybody. Support the writer strike. Kevin, are we prepared to watch the trailer? I can't. Like, one second. One more, or the commercial, I guess. Yeah. One, more, one second. Is no this, take your time. Yeah. Okay. I, I, so, and I haven't seen this. No. Yeah. This is going to be a live reacts for you. If I, if we'd have got more into the weeds, I would have requested approval on this before you. <laughs> oh, I, you know, <laughs> you the, the ship has sailed on that, and we'll see how you like it. Uh, but, yeah. Can you guys put on the headphones? Oh, put on our sure, headphones. Yeah. yeah. Ladies and okay. gentlemen, this is going to be the debut of the Gun Dog Greg Where's Miller it commercial. Be? It'll be on the TV. Yeah, right? yeah, okay. Uh, it. When you see it here, it'll go up on Twitter and TikTok and Instagram everywhere else. So you got to retweet it and share it. I'm kind of terrified of what this is going to be. It's going to be beautiful. You're gonna love it. Don't worry. All right, ready? Yeah. Oh, hey, I didn't see it come in. It's me, Greg Miller, WWE superstar and Game Award winner. <laughs> I was just reading my new favorite book, Gun Dog by Gary Whitta. That's right, your friend in mine, Gary Whitta, host of the Kind of Funny X Cast, has written a book called Gun Dog that's available right now at kindoffunny.com slash gun dog. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a real page turner. I like it so much, I went home threw away my favorite book of all time, the Bible, and put this up on the shelf in its place. There's a new favorite book in my house, and it's called Gun Dog. And if you want Gun Dog, you should go to kindoffunny.com slash gun dog and pre-order your copy right now. Or if you're watching this later, just order it. You can buy it, kindoffunny.com slash gun dog. I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, you're an educated consumer, a real monsieur. You don't trust the deep state to have your credit card information on the internet. I hear you, I understand you. Go to Target, that's right. Gun Dog is on the shelf at Target. That's yeah, Target. That's right. The one that you get the ads for, or you see the dog with the bullseye on its eye, right? <laughs> That's Target. And this book's there. It's a real book written by Gary Whitta that I, Greg Miller, endorse. Not just because I have to, because he traded me Starfield in our fantasy draft and I said I'd cut a commercial for it, but because I really enjoy this. And what's so great about Gun Dog is that it was an audio thing before it was a book. And what's so great about the book version of it rather than the audio version? You don't have to listen to Shannon Woodward this time. Ladies and gentlemen, go get Gun Dog right now. And if you're like, you know what? I already listened to it. I've already read it. You got people in your life, don't you? White elephants are coming up pretty quick. <laughs> Not like in your rear view mirror. Not like running down the street. Like white elephant gift exchanges, you know what I mean? Holidays, birthdays, what Thanksgiving. You, you don't think you could be the life of the party at your Thanksgiving party if you pull a gun dog out of a turkey? <laughs> gun dog, kindoffunny.com slash gun dog. Oh my God. You we are just sold a, a lot of copies are of a, a book. Fucking legend. We just sold a lot of copies of a book. That right was there, that Gary. was amazing. Thank you. Thank this you. This is everybody. this is why you are the trending gamer. Exactly. Or were many years no, ago. No, it's, Not so you much know, now. Once you have it. Yeah. You know when you say you have a BAFTA, we don't call out what year you won the BAFTA. That's oh. true. I mean, and it was it was before you won trending gamer. So my BAFTA brag is like even. It's true. You know, the difference is my BAFTA's worth something. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's an, an actual award, not something mm. that fucking Jeff Keighley gave you. Well, first off, the um, audience voted on it, so it's a big deal. And the audience is going to buy your books and maybe don't insult them, you know? I, I, I'll take the opportunity to say this. I, I, I have done and continue to give you a lot of shit. And rightly so. You yeah. deserve it. Yeah. You deserve yeah. all of it. Yeah. Um, but that was amazing. You're a true friend. You're a mensch. I very much appreciate you doing this. This this book is published by a small independent publisher. This is not like when I work on Star Wars or some fucking Will Smith movie um, and you know that the studio is going to come in with like millions of dollars of marketing and it's all kind of done for you yeah, and there's yeah. TV commercials and you're on a billboard in Times Square and all that kind of shit. This is a small independent publisher. There's no marketing budget. It's just me shamelessly trading video games to friends in bullshit fantasy leagues to get like whatever favors <laughs> I can and you know going on podcasts and saying will you know will you help me like, talk talking to people that have social media phones like will you just help me out here because I got like no yeah, yeah there's yeah. no infrastructure behind this this is like kind of guerrilla marketing so you're a you're a pal and I appreciate it I love you yeah you know that I'm proud of you I'm, g I'm proud of everything you do I'm always going to support you now go write a Ghostbusters movie when the strike's over <laughs> get me there all right that's what we need to but do. also I want to say I'm genuinely glad to be here the timing on this actually worked out great. I love that we're also here to play and talk about Starfield. Yeah. Because obviously I've talked a lot about Starfield on Kind of Funny in the, over the past couple of weeks. We did our initial impressions uh, X-Cast yeah. a couple of weeks ago. And what a great one you guys just that did. That was a good one. The one that we just did with Tegan, Lightweight yeah, Gaming. She's terrific, by the way. We should have her back. Where we were actually were like really able to get into it and kind of tell our fishing stories and stuff. That was one of my favorite X-Casts that we've done. Yeah. And the interesting thing is that the very, you'll, you'll remember, if you go back and watch like, the first impressions video, the very first thing I said was, I don't think having just played, the, having played the game for like 10 hours or whatever it was at the time, for me, to, like, I won't be 
drawn on putting a score on it. It's too early. There's too much. It's like asking me to review like a season of television after watching like the first ten minutes of episode one. Yeah. I don't know what it is yet. Like I got to get more into it. Yeah. And so I and so I but I did kind of complain about some th- certain things that I found off-putting. We can talk about encumbrance all day long. We can talk about like the NPCs kind of feeling a little bit animatronic and fake and. Um, but I, I said that I feel like the big picture is potentially really interesting, but I need to get more into it. And now that I'm... The funny thing is, the game literally clicked for me last night. I was playing last night, and I was like, I fucking get it now. And and the issues that I have with the game are still the issues, but yeah, they're yeah, kind yeah. of melting away a little bit. And I'm Starfield's seeing, very good at that. Starfield's very good at that. I'm, st- I'm, 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 I'm figuring out ways to kind of deal with the problems that I have with the game. Um, and I'm just seeing it for what it is. I'm running. I'm I'd like this. I just said the big blue sky stuff. The sense of like, go anywhere, do anything, be distracted by a million different things, play any way you want. All like the big picture stuff that they hyped. That is working for me now. And oh, yeah. and I'll go as far as saying I just I was just talking to a friend of mine on the phone right before this. In terms of the game of the year conversation, I said early on it's not going to be game of the year. Baldur's Gate three and Zelda are going to are going to divvy up all of the awards yeah. and I, st- I still think that's going to be the case o- almost all of the big game of the year awards um, and including some of the smaller ones like Jeff Keighley's will um, well it's going to be one of those two yeah, yeah, and yeah, I would yeah. stake my reputation like the Baldur's Gate 3 is incredible it's going to clean up Great game. but there's a, di- there's a difference between what's the game of the year like in terms of the consensus and what each person's personal oh, of game course. of the year is of course. so I would say Baldur's Gate 3 is probably like looking at it empirically just like as a sober assessment that's probably the best game, the best game that was made this year. Like it's 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 so fucking good. Okay. But like, what's my per? But then, what is my personal favorite game of the year? Like sure. last year, it was Vampire Survivors. Oh yeah. Right. Even though that wasn't a sexy game to be talking about in terms of the game of the year, it was all about Elden Ring. Right. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. that cleaned up. But I just kept saying, in fact, I'm sure it's. I know it's a great game. It's just not my cup of tea. Vampire Survivors though is extremely my shit. That's my game of the year. And I was actually really pleased when. Uh, Vampire Survivors finally did win a big one, right? It won the BAFTA. Yeah. Welcome to the club, by the way, Vampire Survivors. Um, and so that's kind of where I'm at now. I don't think this is going to win a lot of Game of the Year awards, but it, but it is now starting to creep up on me that like this might be my personal Game of the Year. I had, a couple of days ago, I had basically that meme of the cat with the newspaper, you know, where I was like, is Starfield my Game of the Year? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I can't stop thinking about this game. I'm on my fifth New Game Plus now. All I want to... It's a its a legitimate problem that I need to review other games, but I want to get back to Starfield. I want to go back and chase that next thing. I started... You know, it's funny. You and I, I are old men, but we also use TikTok. And so on your uh, Xcast, you started mentioning, oh, did you see this thing on TikTok about the casino or this? And I was like, oh, my God, I'm, I've been seeing those too, obviously. Right, right. And like Starfield TikToks are great. Like, there's lo- loads of great tips that I've actually used. And the, usually uh, what I've been enjoying about the tips is seeing stuff that I already knew about. Like, I had right. found the casino on my own before all that during review period. Did you do yeah. the locker thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But it was that I got one last night, and I was like, oh, I don't know what this is. And they started, like, revealing these characters. You can. I was like, oh, my God, I shut it down. I'm like, I don't want to know this. I still want to go out and have right, that right, experience right. and find that yeah, person on my own. exactly right. Um, uh, real quick, I want to give a shout-out. A lot of people are buying your book. Uh, oh, good. Deadhead64 says I'm buying it right now. Uh, there was one over here. Oh, uh, uh, Black WC831 is going to buy it at Target, they say. Uh, I can't scroll. You can also order it from Target's website or the Target Yeah, but it's app. cool to walk into it. You know, you want to walk into a Target and have it My there. guess is, though, that the, like, I don't think it's going to be like you know, many copies. Like, if, it, if you find it on a shelf, it might just be like a couple. Your, your best bet is probably ordering it online. Pudgy Trash Panda pre ordering on Amazon. Uh, Amy Gills, of course, want to know if she can get a hardcover, uh, a physical copy in Ireland. Is that possible? Uh, I know it's I know it's coming out in uh, the UK in um, I don't know about Ireland, but I know it's I know it's coming out in October. Okay, in the UK. Leonard NL re- or just re- uh, pre-ordered uh, Fluffer Wuffer pre-ordering through his local okay. bookstore's uh, website. I like that a lot. So okay, so let me just point out a couple of things. I see a couple of questions sure. in the chat. Kind of funny. Um, uh, dot com slash gundog uh-huh. uh, or whatever that URL was that's that you gave up. Did I get it right? You're right. Okay, good. That that just takes you to the Amazon page, yeah. right? And Amazon, I think, has it a couple of bucks off. Now, for the record, before you, cr- I, I did it because that was your like pin tweet. No, no, yeah. and that's and that's fine. I mean, you know, unless you like fucking hate Amazon, you know, Amazon is a perfectly you know decent place to buy your books. But a lot of people do hate Amazon, right? Sure. So you can get it from Barnes and Noble. One of the things I learned, if you just type Gundog into like, um, they do a, go- a Google search and then like go on the shopping tab, it shows you all the places that sell it. Yeah. Shop around for the cheapest price. Some go. places do have it discounted. Um, I will also say 
if you some people like uh, some people are so nice like they say like what's the way that I buy it that I can buy it that would most benefit yeah, you? Yeah, like, yeah, is there yeah, a way yeah. to buy it from one place or another where you would get more of the share? Yeah. Um, I don't know what the answer to that is, but I do know that you can, if you want to cut out the middleman entirely, you can buy it directly from the publisher. Okay. The publisher, the, the small Ink shares, right? Ink shares is a small independent publisher. They published my first novel, Abomination, back in 2015. Uh, they're publishing this because they did such a great job with the first one. They're, they're doing this one as well. You can go to inkshares.com slash books slash gundog and buy it directly from the publisher. Yeah. And I don't know if I don't know if I make more money that way, but the publisher certainly does because there's no sure. retailer taking their cut. Like they're shipping the book directly That's great. from the publisher to you. One more thing, and I hesitate to mention this because I'm gonna do the fulfillment myself and I really don't want to go to the post office a million fucking times. You're the laziest man I know, so yeah, this isn't gonna be good. A lot of people asked asked about signed copies. Yeah. Um, I figured out a way to do it. You can go to gundogshop.com where you can buy like some gun dog. You see what I did there? That was kind of mm, cool. You crossed out. I crossed, yeah, because G, because gun dog ends with a G and begins with a G and so does Greg, so I crossed it out and I made it Greg sucks. Greg sucks. Yeah. Um, so you already have a signed copy. I you're, do. You're all taken care of. Done. Oh my God, I literally, somebody already bought something. I get a oh, notification yeah, yeah, yeah. on my watch every time someone, someone buys a book. Oh, you shouldn't have said what that. fucking age you we live in. You shouldn't have said that. What an age, I mean, I'll shout them out right now. Now it's going to go bing, ba -ding, Tr ba -ding. Tristan, Tristan uh, wants it personalized with their name. So um, this is I've, to get the signed copy. Okay, so you if, you go, if, you go, if, if you go to gundogshop.com, ah, there's all kinds of stuff. You can get this t-shirt, you can get this hat, you can get a hoodie, you can get a fucking model, scale model kit of the Liberator, the, the mech from the, from the book. You can do all that stuff. You got a, you got a Shannon point, Woodward body pillow? <laughs> you can get the Austin Wintry digital <laughs> soundtrack. That would be good, though, like a Shannon waifu body <laughs> pillow. We should get someone on that. Um, there's another one. Who's this? Raymond. Thank you, Raymond. What is it? What is fucking nuts? Um, but here's the thing. So like, <laughs> I, don't, I, I, I literally Raymond. don't have any copies. <laughs> I, li I literally don't. Like, this is like one of the only copies that I have because so this is really cool. The publisher called me and said, um, I think this was after Phil Spencer. So didn't you say Phil? Yeah, because I sent a copy to Phil. I sent them to like, like everyone I know. Jim and Ryan. What's that? Jim Ryan. No. Okay. What's he gonna do? Because Jim, Jim, because Jim Ryan's not a real one the way that Phil is. That's true. That's accurate. Um, I sent one to uh, Reggie. Yeah. Nothing from Reggie yet though. He's busy. He needs to step up. Yeah. Did he send you copy his book? And I sent one to Todd. I sent one to Todd Howard. Nice. Yeah. Because he sent me a consolation edition. Aww. At least I can do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so here's, this is so this is so fucking bullshit. But like, I don't have any copies because Inkshares called me and said, Oh, remember we were going to send you like a hundred copies that you could like do whatever you want yeah, with. Yeah. We're not doing that anymore because Amazon just came back to us and like it's up to their order and said like based on the pre-orders we're seeing like you need to send us oh, every wow, copy wow, wow. you have. So they took the hundred copies back. Nice. Which is a nice that's good for the book, right? But yeah, I don't yeah. have any copies anymore. Well so, now you get to go to Target and buy them. That's well, cool but thing, here's right? the thing, so a lot of people call like, a lot of people again very nice said how can I get a signed copy? Yeah. I, like, I don't quite I don't know how to how to work that out. With Abomination I actually went into the ink shares offices and signed a bunch of copies. We can't do that now because I don't have a bunch of copies that they've already gone out to retailers. Ink share a local? They're in Oakland. Okay. Yeah, so here's what I did, and this is so stupid, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna re regret doing it, so at least I limited it to 100 copies. Yeah. And I think more than half of them are already gone. If you go to gundogshop.com and order it, um, basically what's gonna happen is every time I get an order, well, I'm gonna try, I, I, I have, I'm literally gonna fucking buy the book off of Amazon, <laughs> or wherever it's or wherever it's cheapest. John, Omega Buster, thank you for buying my book. I can't, yeah, it's it. 2023. Um, I'm literally going to go to Amazon, oh, so pay full retail price for the book, sign it, and then and then and <laughs> well, so eventually we'll figure out a way to do it. But people want copies now, so I'm going for a limited run of a hundred. Yeah, I will sign it. If you you can put a little thing at checkout that says please personalize it to whatever. Yeah, yeah And yeah. I will personally ship it to you. So I'm going to be the annoying guy at the at the post office with uh, like 50 packages. 50 packages. Andre and Rutger Evans and Seth Musgrave, these are going to run out. I did 100. When I came in this morning, I know there were only about 40 left. Okay. And I'm not fucking doing Well, thank God you limited it. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, I, th I, mean, I thought it was unlimited. Well, I think at some point down the road, like once they say, like, cause the book has already gone into a second printing, which is kind of amazing. Yeah. The publisher said this is the most pre-order activity I was we've about seen to from wholesalers this. since yeah, before yeah, yeah. the pandemic. Oh wow! Okay, which okay. is I don't know. Maybe the, the the podcast was. Oh, we should talk about that too. Yeah. The audio version was like a massive hit. It was like top three podcasts in twenty different countries around the world. They, they keep coming. Darius, thank you, Darius. Who else is coming in here? 
Sonny, thank you, Sonny. Johnny Sideaway or Sidaway. Edgar, Edgar Vasquez. Katie, so excited to read this, she says. This is crazy. I love it. Um, so once those run out, that'll be it for a while. If you want to get the book signed, like come find me at a convention or something. But I think at some point, once we get like, once all the retailers are like, saying like, we've got enough copies for now and we print more, at some point I will go into the publisher and like sign a bunch and it'll be easier to get easier one. To do that right now, the only way to get one is to, is to fucking set the, have, I'm worried that like, I'm gonna max out like what well, Amazon sell, you can't buy any more copies. Are you like trying to like gin up oh, the sales Amazon of your book? No, they'll, they'll sell you as many as you can. Leah was there, she was like, you can, the drop down is like, you can buy 30 copies of the book. Um, anyway, so that's what I'm doing. I'm literally buying the books, paying full retail price for them. As the author, I, have, I can buy them from ink shares for like, uh, wholesale price, which is like half price. So if I just waited until I had a full supply yeah, at half sure, price, second, I could make much more money. But because I'm because I'm such a real one, you are a real I'm one, paying Gary. full full retail price for the book, and shipping it out to you, and it will be signed. And what I think at this point, there's maybe like thirty left. What a nice man! So get on it, is, ladies and gentlemen. You hear? Well, let's sell him out. All right, he's got thirty left. He thinks. Keep blowing up his watch while we play Starfield. I'm tweeting out my video right now. I got it up on the TikTok. I got it up on the Insta. Now we're putting the commercial up on Twitter, the big one. That's where the big dogs play. But and also, races, apparently, so. but also, yeah. Um, just order it from like regular places because it's uh, right yeah. now. Like the, here's the thing: the book's not officially out until September 12th, next Tuesday. Some places kind of broke street day Ooh. on it. I guess the, like what I learned is that public, they, unless it's like a Harry Potter kind of thing where they say like, "Do not fucking sell this yeah, before yeah, the day," yeah, yeah, yeah. they don't give a shit and they'll just basically sell it to you as soon as it shows up in their warehouse. So like, I ordered a copy from Walmart just to see what would happen, and like, it already showed up. So Barnes and Noble and Walmart, I know, are already shipping them out. At this point, obviously, like, if you order it today from those places, by the time it ships, you're gonna get it probably not much earlier than launch day. Yeah. yeah. But in terms of like the, re the 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 wholesalers and the retailers going, oh wow, people really like this book. We should order more. Yeah. Like buying it now is like super super helpful. Like authors will always tell you pre-orders really really help. When I was at I was at Target last weekend and I went I just perused the book section hoping they had Broken Street Day that I'd yeah. be able to find it I didn't I didn't find it but I did find that dog with the bullseye eye do you like I, I like um, the Starbucks at Tarbucks uh, the Starbucks at Starbucks, Starbucks at Tarbucks the Starbucks at Target are great because they have the bullseye cake pop yeah. you can only get yeah. it at the Starbucks yeah, yeah. Starbucks. I love a good exclusive big fan of they that. got the cookie too right they got a bullseye they got cookie a, oh, that, oh that bullseye cookie yeah. is really good that's and an S tier cookie you made it here to spend a bunch of money wanting to have some Starbucks and sugar too and so one, and then one other thing and then we'll get into Starford a lot sure. of people asked about uh, an audio book and it's really interesting because one of the, the this, this kind of came around in a backwards way the whole, so the whole reason why Gundot ex exists in the form that it does is, and there's a bigger conversation here, but I, I do want to get to Starfield. Um, this was originally something that I conceived as like a, a feature film, a screenplay. Yeah. And it was years ago, 2009, I started noodling with this idea. And I was very green, I was still kind of a baby writer back then. After 20 years in the business of getting kicked around and realizing a lot of things, one of the things that I realized is like, it's almost impossible, unless you're Christopher Nolan, or the Christopher Nolan of video games, Todd Howard, yeah. or you know J.J. Abrams, or one of these like mega guys, it's almost impossible to get a, an original big budget science fiction film made. There are very smart people out there like Alex Garland who are getting original science fiction films made at, bit, at lower budgets, but something like this, you know, which is a fucking 60 foot tall mech fighting off like legions of alien robots, yeah, yeah, yeah. hundred million dollar movie minimum probably to do it right. No one's, no one's making that. Like the fact that I co-wrote Rogue One doesn't mean anything to these people. It's just like, well, like, what's it based That's on? That's why we're striking. What's it based on? What's the IP? Like, why do we know? Hollywood's like a really reactionary business. They won't take a risk on anything unless there's like, a, unless there's some evidence, some proof that people are going to show up. The example I always give is, if Suzanne Collins had written The Hunger Games yeah. as a screenplay to get a movie made, mm. I guarantee you no one's ever heard of The Hunger Games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because no one makes that movie, because it's wild, right? Sure. Um, but she wrote it as a book, sold a jillion copies, and now it's now like, oh, there's an audience, there's and now there's like a spin-off coming out, and like, you know, it's a Hunger Games cinematic universe. So I started thinking about that, and I'm happy to pay the bills doing you know, whatever it may be, like whatever I'm hired to do, Star Wars or, you know, um, Ghost Mouse Busters. Guard. <laughs> Go do Ghostbusters. Uh, Superman movie. You know, the, 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 the things that, that come my way, um, and that's kind of how I pay the bills. It's still, I never do anything purely for money. It's still like sure. something, it has to be something I'm, I can get up in the morning every day and look in the mirror. 
Um, but like the original stuff that I want to do increasingly, there's no way through like the front door of Hollywood anymore to sell like big original science fiction. That's nice. um, yeah, it's really, really hard. Uh, so I started thinking like, well, I just want to tell stories. Like maybe there's a way I could do this that's not as heavy a lift. I can still get a story in front of an audience. Because that's all they care about. I did that with Abom Abom Abomination, which I wrote back in 2015. It's like this gnarly medieval monster movie. No one's making that movie. Yeah. Um, but I wrote it as a book and I got it in front of an audience and people liked it and job done, right? That was a win for me. I'm yeah. super happy about it. I did it with Oliver, which was like this weird kind of post-apocalyptic Oliver Twist adaptation that I wrote, originally written as a screenplay. Nobody wanted to make it. Turned it into a graphic novel that uh, Image Comics put out. People found it, liked it. That was good too. I think the artist... Uh, Derek you. Robertson, co-creator of The Boys. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, who also wrote, uh, also illustrated uh, Batman Fortress with yep. me. So when I, when I was thinking about Gundog, I was like, do I want to write it as a, screen, as a feature film screenplay? It's, what I've learned is like, it's just heartbreaking for me to put six, anywhere between six weeks and six months of my life into writing a spec screenplay. And then here's what happens. The agents will send it out, it'll go to all the studios, it'll get read by the readers and the studio execs, and they'll all say, no, we're not gonna make it for whatever reason. And that's it, it's done. Like, that's it. Like, it, it will never get another shot. Like, it's Hollywood said no. And it will just sit on a shelf That now. sucks. Yeah, and maybe, tw I literally, to, to spend six, six months of my life reading some, writing something that maybe 50 people will ever even read, right? And, it, and it's done, on to the next thing. It's yeah. just a waste of my time, it's heartbreaking. Especially when you really like it, right? You yeah, think you're your babies, you're yeah, putting them you want to see them. And the you, original yeah. things are always your baby. Like, Rogue One, I'm like so, proud to have been a part of that but I don't feel like I have ownership of it the way I say for example I have ownership of Eli yeah or this because it was like if they hadn't hired if they had not hired me to write Rogue One they would have found someone else to do it and it wouldn't have been the exact same movie because the uh, other person wouldn't have had the same ideas I had but they still Rogue One still would have come out right still would have been a movie sure they would have found someone else but but like the book of Eli doesn't exist without me this doesn't exist without me um and it's you know it just it feels really super those are the things that I'm more attached to, the things that I create out of whole cloth. Oh, yeah, man. That's the problem awesome. is I work in Hollywood where there's no market for whole cloth. And so I've just started going around. You know, one of the nice things is no gatekeepers anymore. You can put something on YouTube. You can self-publish a book. You can put out your own audio podcast. And so I, 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 rather, when I, whenever I'm writing a movie, if I'm writing a movie for a studio or I'm writing something for myself and it's in production or it's in pre-production, they pay me and it's like in development, I'm constantly, constantly waiting for someone to pull the rug out from under me. Like, yeah, is, this, yeah, yeah. is this ever gonna be made? Like on Mouse Mouse Guard broke my heart. I almost yeah. quit the business. Like yeah. one of my favorite screenplays that I ever wrote based on the amazing um, comic books by David Peterson. Is this interesting? Should we this look? is fascinating. Okay. No, 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 you're doing great. Um, and People know Starfield's great. They've seen Starfield. I wrote a, a screenplay that I loved. The studio loved it. I was like, like honestly, like, if, you, if I had to show you Something that's to justify you your existence as a screenwriter. Me, show me one piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I would actually show you something now that I've written that no one knows about yet. But like, that's now my favorite thing. But pro the other thing I would show you is Mouse. And Mouse guys, fuck it, I love it so much. I'm so proud of yeah. proud of it. Um, went into pre production. West Ball, incredible director, attached to direct. Idris Elba, Andy Serkis, forty million dollars spent on pre production, sets built, pre viz, costumes. And that's like fucking ridiculous that it's that close. Pre-production. Right. That's Six the weeks pr from production, and then Disney bought Fox and just killed it and said, no, we're not making it. We'll write off the $40 million. And I was so fucking heartbroken. Yeah. They called me, and they, they at one point my agent called me and said, uh, the president of production at Fox wants to call you to like, explain what happened. I said, don't put me on the phone right with him right now because I'm so fucking angry. I will say something that I can't take yeah, back yeah. and it will fuck me up in this business. So like, I literally... My wife came into the room and said, are you okay? Because she could hear me across the house. I was fucking shouting down the phone. This is fucking bullshit. And I'm so tired of, and we're seeing it now more than, you know, in the age of like, age of like Zaslav, Zaslav and all these people that just like, I think don't really care about creative work. Oh God, and, no, this is all line items. And listen, as soon, as soon as they started calling it content, 
it was fucking over. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's all it is now. It's widgets. It's like, what can we sell? Yeah, yeah. And what does the algorithm want to see? I saw Linklater saying this Link yesterday. Uh, Linklater, yeah. I think, that, that, read that interview with Linklater. It's so depressing, but he fucking nailed it. Yeah. Like, the state that we're in. Yeah. My worry is, like, the strike is what it is, and it's, it's gross, and I'm not expecting to work again this year. I don't think we'll be back at work until next year at this point. But even when we come back to work, it's like COVID, right? Like, we didn't come back yep. to the world that we left. It was a different world. Yep. And I think it's going to be a different industry, a different world when we come back. Because, again, the streamers still aren't, they still don't know what the fuck they're doing. Nobody wants, nobody knows what they want anymore. Like, I have no idea what it's what the market's going to be. I have all these movies and TV shows and things that I've made that are ready to go, like, pitch and sell. Yeah, but yeah. I have no idea how much of an appetite or a landscape is even going to be waiting for us on the other side of the strike. For sure. And that's really fucking scary. Yeah, of course. Um, you just built the kitchen. Oh my god! I spent, I spent a fortune on that kitchen. It's nicer. You should come over. It looks awesome. Come make, come make some wings in our kitchen. Okay. You and Jen should come over. Yeah, sure. And, can Ben come? Yeah, and the kids. Can, <laughs> yeah, of course, the kid. The, the kid the, well, you know, I've. you like, I got. Out, I out, out, house already. Your kid and my youngest are literally two days apart in age. Yeah, right, yeah. So they should they, they they should come over and play more. Um, so. I just feel like the way to do it now is like just own and control everything yourself. Pay the bills yourself. Like if, if I'm the if I'm like my, the the analogy I use is like no one can pull the rug out from under me because I fucking bought and paid for the rug it's sure. my rug yeah yeah yeah, yeah and yeah. so with Gun Dog it's not terribly expensive to make a, to write a book I can self publish a book during the pandemic I was thinking this is the, this is the road I'm gonna I'm gonna go down my wife Leah reads a lot of audiobooks like a lot yeah she like she has an audible subscription and she's like she probably gets through like two or three books a week so like, she's constantly constantly got her airpods in and, and reading um and what i discovered from that is like audio books are like pretty much i think like a third of the market like one in three books that are sold yeah is an audio book it's sold in audio format which is i, I had no idea it's amazing to me so that well shit if i'm going to self-publish the book I, I i guess i have to like self produce an audio version as well or there's like a third of potential buyers readers yeah, yeah, that like, I'm not I don't have access to so I thought well okay well, I'll do it myself like it's audio how hard can it be it turns out like like anything doing doing audio well is really fucking hard especially yeah, when, yeah, you, yeah. when you've never done it and you don't know anything about it for sure for sure but I was really fortunate in the sense it was in the middle of the pandemic no you know, this is this is back before they had covid protocols on movie studios and everything was shut down i got to do animal talking because all the celebrities yeah. were bored and nothing better yeah, to do um and uh this is i mean it's like we got you know i mean like colin trevorrow came on you know the director of the jurassic world movies i called him and said do you want to come on animal talking like any other day he would have said no fuck off like i've got I'm, busy. I, I'm trying to direct movies yeah. but he was like oh yeah i'm just sitting around here like with nothing to do because they've shut my movie down so yeah, we got yeah. all these interesting people to come on the show and it was, and so it was with um, with Shannon Woodward, who was on Animal Talking, um, and I got to know her through that. She was sitting around, and I called her up and said, "Would you be interested in like doing an audio book, like narrating an audio book?" She said, "Yeah, I got nothing better to do." And she ended up recording nine hours of audio for me and doing an absolutely. She's flawed, great. She's so fucking talented. She's so Love good. Shannon. Troy Baker came in as well and played the did the voice of the bad guy, um, just incredible. And then Austin Wintry, of course, you all know, incredible game uh, composer. And podcaster. And podcaster, um, you know, with Troy and Alana, right? He does all these great podcasts. Um, wrote one of my all-time favorite game, game soundtracks uh, for Journey. It's like still one of the best soundtracks ever sure. made. I said, would you, would you be interested in doing some music for it? He went away and wrote 90 minutes of original music with a full orchestra. Insane. I, these, these people are not, and they, and they wouldn't take a penny off me. So I, they, they, wouldn't, like, I, they wouldn't let me pay them. It's amazing, I, 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 I didn't try particularly hard to pay them. But of course not. I probably could have twisted their arms harder. But so, a, a, an audio book that probably would have cost like any, any, anywhere between like a fifty to a hundred grand to make if I'd been actually been I paying. Mean, that's like, just Troy. That's paying, just Troy. And that's just Troy. That's just his rider. Yeah, I mean, you, we only use. That's just Troy's rider. Right. That's, ju that's just that's, that's just his perk package. Yeah, that's yeah, the trailer. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, and someone's got to pick out all the brown M and M's. Yep, there it is. Uh, <laughs> it cost me. It cost me almost nothing. I paid for a few hours of studio time. And That's was, amazing. And so we got to put together this really interesting audio book. And I thought, okay, what's an interesting way to put this out? So we chopped it up into nine hour long episodes with these like kind of cliffhanger. Act, um, um, oh, and I should also give a, a shout out to Adam Nickerson. Uh, I, I, I don't want to, but I Real should. Quick, Greg, can you just let me know when you were... Oh, sure, yeah, no problem. We want to go full, uh, back to the... He did all of the audio production and, and figured out a bunch of audio problems that we had and all the technical back end stuff that isn't sexy but like has to be done. Yeah. He did all of that. Um, and... 
thought, what's an interesting way to do this? I've got these nine episodes, and we did it. We initially did it all live on Twitch. I remember. And I did every every week it was like at, at, at a certain uh, like eight o'clock Wednesdays, whenever it was. We did it. It was like a live like a listening party we would play the episode i would introduce it and everyone in twitch chat would like listen to like like the episode one or whatever and it was really fun because you had like the live chat and something like there was like a plot twist that would, would happen and people would go ah and we had like yeah, emojis yeah, yeah. and stuff for people to react and at the end i would come back and like do like book club stuff like i would answer questions like an author q a and it was really just a different way to like kind of debut oh for sure yeah. you know a piece of creative work i almost said content i really try not to like and that was cool, and then we put it out on... So the original my idea was, like, I'm just going to do it all myself. So I, when I got, like, a sad little kind of Podbean turnkey podcast account, and, and I was going to self-publish the book through Amazon Kindle. But the Twitch thing started getting some attention. A company called Realm came along. Realm does a lot of these big narrative uh, podcasts and said, oh, like, do you want us to, like, would, do you want us to distribute that for you? Like, it was already fully, fully done. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then they put it out through their network, um, and it ended up being like hugely successful. Like, it was like numbered like both on the overall fiction charts and the science fiction charts in the USA, UK, and Canada. I think it was like top three, and it was like number one in like like weird like Israel and Hong Kong, and like and it stuck around for a really long time, even though we only did nine episodes, and then that was it. Leisurely, if you don't keep putting out new episodes, people are going to drift yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. Like we just kept like it was still like people were still listening. I don't know how many people like listened overall. The numbers are there somewhere, but like. It was, it was a, like the realm people are going, this is fucking, like, we love this. This is sure, doing really, yeah. really well. Um, but it was weird because, like, usually the book and the audio book would come out at the same time, or you would do the book and then the audio book would be the adaptation. Well, because, that was the thing about it, right? When it was happening, I was like, I remember, oh, okay, cool, you're doing this audio play, I thought yeah, you were doing it, right? Yeah. And you're like, well, no, it's a book. Like, yeah, oh, it's just okay, an audio book. Yeah, so th then it was like, okay, now it's here, but, like, the book is what they were reading from. The original plan was to put the audio version out and then the, when it finished, the book would come out right after it because I was handling all the distribution myself. I could just time when that would happen. Yeah. But what happened was the Twitch channel, the Twitch broadcast was really successful. So Realm came in and said, okay, we're going to take this now, but we need a little bit. We obviously need time to get our ducks in a row to yeah, set yeah, it up yeah. and, and debut it. And then when the podcast was super success successful, I was actually in the, in the, in the uh, course of figuring out how to do Amazon Kindle publishing. But then Inkshares came in and said, do you want us to publish this? Because, you know, we can do a better job. Like, yeah, we can yeah, do, yeah. like, a proper hardcover and actually get you in Target and Walmart. But that takes a while. Yeah. And so it's, really, it's now uh, actually yeah. been, like, almost a year since the audio version debuted that the book is coming out. Yeah. This is a very long-winded way of saying to people who are interested in the audio book version, it's already available. It's been available for a while. Nine hour-long episodes just type Gundog into any podcast service and you'll get it all and it's completely free. Hell yeah. Yeah. Is it up on uh, the Audible? Can you get it there? Yes, it's on Audible, it's on Spotify, it's on Apple Podcasts. It's yeah. like, if you, wherever you get your podcasts, as, mm -hmm. you, as you like nice to say. Nice job, nice yeah. job. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was, oh, I, and it's on YouTube. It's on my YouTube channel as well. I've started to, I've not started, I've been doing Audible books for a while. And I, I got lured in by the fact that, of course, you know, I have Amazon Prime, which means I also have Prime Gaming, so I have a free sub to give away. Maybe mm -hmm. you should have for us right now. But I had so many Audible credits that it was that right. thing. Like, oh, I just go in there and start buying books. Like, right. listen to this on the way home, do this. Uh, one of the chat questions that went by a long time ago. Um, I wish I'd been paying more attention to chat. I'm sure they've been some good they ones. They got hours of us coming up here. Don't worry about it. They were wondering, now that you're, <laughs> it's finally done done and coming out and everything else. It's are, done, dog. Dundog! Uh, are you are you thinking a are you noodling a sequel or do you want to just leave it how it is or do you want to keep moving? Well, so, I mean, like, like I said, the podcast was, was successful. It's too yeah. early to say how well the book is going to do. The book ends in a way that suggests there's there's a lot more coming. Of course, and a sequel would be bigger. Yeah, yeah. And then the, the the rough idea in my head from mapping out like three parts to it, so there potentially would be three books or three series of audio. Gotcha. Um, and uh, but, I, but I need to see how like I'm not gonna if, like, if, this, if the book flops there's no point in me writing something it's not it's already doing numbers they're saying I mean you're like, four, you sold your 40 it's copies happening on, on my phone. watch it's happening literally on my watch uh, right now but no it's definitely it's definitely set up to like be a sequel and then coming back around what's interesting about this is like again I just want to get a story in front of an audience yeah whether it's a book whether it's an audio thing whether it's a graphic novel whether it's you know, a video game or film or television, whatever. It's just film and television is the hardest. Yeah. Um, and again, like, I, I, this has happened to me a couple of times now, and it's now happening with this. 
really, really hard to get this made like through, like through the front door as a film or television show. Because nobody wants to make original things anymore. But guess what? Now it's you... not original anymore. Oh. Now it's a piece of IP. Oh, uh -huh. based on the hit podcast, based on the hopefully best-selling book. And then suddenly companies start going, oh, uh, do you want to make a movie out of this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's that's not part of like the calculation. That's like the cherry on uh, top. Well, it's, yeah, I was going to say, it's but a it's, nice side effect it's, if it's, it happens, right? It's a nice thing to have at the back of your head in terms of like, oh, yeah, this is good. This, this, this is now the way to do it. Like, if you want to realize something that's a big original expensive genre idea for film or television, trying to, trying to take it straight to film or television, unless you're a really big name, really, really hard to do. Yeah. So my thing now is like develop it in another medium where it can show itself to be successful and you can go, then you can go to Netflix or Amazon or HBO or Apple or Disney or Paramount or Fox or whoever and say, Hey, look! This thing was like people are going to show up because they already showed up for this version of it. Yeah. So go make a movie or a TV show. I mean, what about what, you? Again? I'll talk to you about that after the after the show. But there might there actually might be a little. Todd a little, Howard's little, like, wait a something. second. You know what? Fuck this! I have the scrolls business. How about some gun dog fucking DLC for Starfield? No, there won't be. You think so? Yeah, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> have you gone about like I know I shouldn't say this because I know you and me, we we don't have this level of talent. Has anybody gone and built a gun dog in Starfield to be the ship yet? Oh, I never. I mean, I never even thought about that. I mean, I've seen I don't so think many you, you crazy can't really builds. build like a. Like, you can't really build like land vehicles, right? So no, but I mean, people. Are, I mean, I've seen the Magic School Bus. I've seen the Halo ship. I've seen Optimus Prime. I've seen Thomas the Tank Engine. I guess you could. I mean, the reference art is there. There's there's art for it. Like we know what what the 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 the, the, the hero. Well, making. Hold on, real quick. Olive Party says you want a mod, Gary. Olive Party's been making amazing mods for Starfield. Abs absolutely, I do. So um, the the hero making gun. There's only one of them. Uh, it's it's kind of a last die fighter kind of yeah, thing. It's yeah. like this like this advanced prototype. Humanity's last hope. They only they only built the one. Um, and it's called it's called the Liberator. Uh, so just like the sex bed. Exactly right. And we had the um, I had concept art of it made, so we know what the Liberator looks like. And there, like I said, you can go see like there's a three D. I mean, there literally is a three D model of it, like a physical three three D model that exists. Yeah. So you could, if somebody wanted to, there's, I've, I've seen concept art, I've seen fan art, I've seen people having fun with it. People who order the model kit, like, do their own custom paint jobs and paint it up in different colors. Okay. Um, but yeah, like, if anyone were interested in, like, 3D modeling it, like, in a, in a game or something, there, there is a 3D model available that you can use as reference. Okay. Well, there you go. With fun you. stuff. That's pretty much it for my pitch. Okay, gun dog, ladies and gentlemen. Kindoffunny.com slash gun dog. We'll come back dog. to it. Yeah, we'll talk more about we'll it. We'll come we'll back to it. Fun. You want to talk about Starfield? Yeah, let's play some Starfield. Let's talk about some Starfield. Kevin! Uh, we've got Krispy Kreme donuts here as well. We do have donuts, yeah. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, we are kind of funny games. Twitch.tv, YouTube.com. We're hanging out with Gary Wood, of course, author of Gun Dog, and of course, one of your hosts on the Kind of Funny X cast. Uh, you've had quite the journey with Starfield so far. I've seen, I've seen your early on impressions. Arguing about the encumbrance, don't not liking all this stuff. Then you're like, I'm gonna turn on mods. I'm gonna use the super widescreen support. But then last night you say it all finally clicked for you. That's where you really turned this corner, and you became the gun dog of Starfield. I stand by what I said the first week, which is any impressions you hear from me or anyone else right now yeah. are, in, are initial impressions only. That's why I think every review score that came out. Whether it be IGN or Paris's score, Paris garbage, or, or anybody, it's it, there's no way that's a definitive review score. Sure. You're going to see a lot of the big outlets are going to come back to this game three months from now, six months from now. You know how like when they review a car yeah. and they give an initial review, but then they come back six months later, like long term test. Yeah. Like how's the how's the car actually after six months of living with it? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I think what you're going to see is people are going to, the outlets are going to come back to this game three months, six months, a year from now and say, what, and now here's the review. Now that we've sure. got fully got inside of it and Bethesda obviously are going to continue to patch and evolve it, it's not, the opinions are not going to be the same. For better or worse, but they won't be the same. Yeah. Um, and that's been my story with it. My initial, you know, weird, because I was editor chief of PC Gamer for many years and people are like surprised when I tell them this. I never really played a Bethesda game to, wow. to any extent. And it's weird because everyone thinks like the Book of the Eli is like somehow weirdly based on Fallout Three, even though I wrote Brown. Eli before Fallout Three even came out. Yeah. Um, because it, yeah, because it's post-apocalyptic. Uh, but I, 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 
I never really played a full out game to any extent. I played Skyrim for like an hour and I just it just didn't it just wasn't Did happening for me. Yeah. And so I never so I never really had much experience with like the you know, the Bethesda style or the Bethesda way of doing things. This is the first time that I've really gone in, okay, let's really figure out if this kind of game is for me. And when we did the first impressions, a lot of my first impressions were based on the, the fact that I was coming to this for the first time in like a couple of like I said, we, I'm going to stop going on about encumbrance because I think it's a valid <laughs> criticism, but like I, I'm starting to figure out like how to manage it and it's not as big a problem as I initially yeah. was having with it. I actually regret kind of going as hard as I did on encumbrance. Well, because, that was my favorite thing if I can just stop you. Is yeah. Like, you know, again, like I am a Bethesda guy. Like I love mm -hmm. Bethesda RPGs. And so driving, listening to you talk to Light and, and Mike in uh, Paris, it was like, you're like, I, mark my words, they're going to come and fix this. And I'm like, I hear, I understand where you're coming from, but they will not change this. This is who they are. And I, and I, st I still think it's too strict. I still think the starting limit is too strict. But now that I've figured out ways to, to manage it, I, it's not, I'm now running around unencumbered because I've figured out how to do it. Mm -hmm. um, so less of a problem with that. Um, it's, I still have a problem with the theme park aspect of it. I said before, it doesn't feel so much as like I'm in really in outer space as much as I'm at like a Westworld style outer space experience holiday theme park or yeah, like that yeah. Star Wars galaxy cruiser thing yeah, that they're now yeah. shutting down where you go there and it's like hey the Miller family you gotta help us escape the Empire and like you all have to like pretend to be like in this story yeah, for sure. that's kind of how this feels to me like everyone you meet is like hey you wanna go on an adventure and like, it doesn't feel organic it doesn't feel real to me people talk to you in a way that you wouldn't talk to a person it's not Two seconds, and, and, two second, two lines in, you're going to tell me your life And listen, story. dialogue doesn't have to... Be, people say this all the time, but like movie dialogue, TV dialogue, video game dialogue doesn't have to be and shouldn't be the way that people actually talk. Because the people that the way that people actually talk in real life is often very boring. Yeah. Go watch it. Go watch like footage of an actual court case compared to like a courtroom drama. Sure. There's, the, it's, the, the real court case is so fucking boring, yeah. but so you have to make it more exciting. Yeah. It, and it's not, so my problem is not, it's not how, the, 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 it's not how real people talk, although that's part of it, because like characters should not be telling me about like their, child, like their childhood trauma like five seconds after I've met them. That's just weird. Right, but that's but, but Starfield does a lot of that. Yeah. Mass, I don't remember Mass Effect. Mass Effect much, felt much more real and organic when you meet a character. It just felt realer to me. Um, and I do have an issue with just like the way that they present dialogue and cinematics. It's just it's just full on. Just the the, yep. the, the characters standing yep. flat in front of you, talk, looking to camera. They're not moving around. I've said this a million times. Like cinematics and video game are often so boring. Watch the way a movie or a TV show blocks a scene character no no one's ever like really standing still they move around the space the director finds a way to make the scene if it, even if it's just two people talking to each other a, a, a director and actors will find a way to make that dynamically interesting yeah right even like for example like the classic example like think about this the, the scene from heat right with pacino and de niro it's just two people sitting at a table talking yeah. but michael mann shoots it in such a way that it's never boring it. yeah, right different angles just ways to make it interesting um there's ways to do it, but like having a character to stand in front of you and just talk at you, yeah, and never move. Like they don't even like gesticulate or anything. Or sometimes they do, but for the most part, they're just standing there like that. They feel like puppets to me. They feel sure. like animatronic characters. That. And that, as someone who comes to a game looking to be immersed and wanting to like believe that I'm there, that's an issue for me. For sure. And but I'm, it's bothering me less the more I play the game. As yeah. as the big picture of like this is really fucking cool is kind of taking over. My initial problems with the game, while still there, I'll, I'll, it's less and less important. It's bothering me less as I go. Well, I keep saying, and I know it's something that they talk a little bit about ahead of time, but it's true of like the more you put in, the more you get out. And it is that if you stick with it and go with it and really like give yourself over to it and the experience and the it, however you want to play, or, you know, however you want to role play, I think you get a lot out of it. Mike, yeah. you want to cross this over? Ready. So I don't know exactly what happened last night, yeah. but something clicked with I was playing last night. Where's the controller? Pass me the controller. Oh, yeah. You keep beating. I just want to get your character up on screen. <laughs> May I get anybody anything? Uh, yeah, wow, well, you're kicking the computer. Gave it a little neat. No, I'm good. Okay. Thanks, Mike. Everybody, round of applause that and chat great. for Stomach Mike. Hey, see ya. 
So this is who you are, Dakota. I call my character Dakota because Dakota is the name of the, the protagonist in Gundog. So then talk to me about this then. Did you go through and is this try to make what the Dakota character in your head looks like? No, because she doesn't really look like anything in my head. I never... Okay. I, but, really? You know, That's well, I guess in the case now she kind of looks a bit like Shannon. Yeah, I think so, right. I fucked around with Mid Journey a little bit and kind of did concept art. Mid Journey? Mid, it's, you know, the AI art generation. Oh, I'm just kind of playing okay. around with it. It's okay, my okay, own yeah, amusement. Yeah, yeah. I made some, like, Gundog concept art. Yeah. Never, it's never anything that I would show public because AI is gross and I don't want to support that. But, sure. like, just to kind of mess around. Mood board kind of thing. Yeah, mood, yeah Pinterest. Yeah, yeah. And it, you know, it sometimes can help inspire you. Oh, that looks cool. I should lean into that. Um, but no, I just, I just, I just called her that because I like. <laughs> it's funny. So the character's name. I should have put the full name in the character. The lead character's name in Gundog is Dakota Bregman. And it's like a lot of writers have this. Like characters have little names, and or gimmicks or th th scenes and things that they, they, if they can't fit it in one movie, yeah. they'll 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 find like sooner or later it's gonna it's gonna show it up. Goes somewhere something. else, yeah. John August tells this really interesting story about um, he was working on. Um, Jurassic Part 3 uh -huh. for Spielberg and Spielberg was saying I want to do a scene remember how the, the, like Jeff Goldblum's daughter in that movie was like a gymnast or something yep. yeah. he said I want to do a scene where she is swinging through the jungle with like the monkeys with the monkeys right yeah and John was like you never say no, especially not to Spielberg, right? Yeah, but yeah, like, yeah, he was yeah, like, I'm yeah, just not, yeah. not going to do it. Yeah. Like, and, and hopefully you'll forget about it, because yeah. I don't think it's a good idea. And you think, well, Spielberg's developing 50 other things right now, he won't remember. But Spielberg's a fucking genius, And then he's right? sitting in the Every fucking Every single time, the drive, he's like, where's, where's, where's my swinging through the trees? Like, Tarzan, that's what I want to see. He's like, fuck. And he kept, like, not doing it and not doing it. And in the end, it, it ended up, no, it, it didn't end up in Jurassic World, uh, Jurassic Park 3, Fast forward to Kingdom Crystal of the Crystal Skull. Skull. There's Shia LaBeouf swinging through the trees, and John's like, "Ah, oh, he, he finally got it." You so know, if you've got an idea in your head that like you love, sooner or later you will find a place. And to I put can't it. remember. I'm gonna fuck it up, so I won't even say it. But I, they remember uh, this is the Kevin Smith story of when he was working on Superman Lives. Right? They wanted the giant mechanical spider. They wanted him to fight Superman to fight the spider. And I forget who it was that was putting the director that was pushing for this. Mm -hmm. And Kevin's like, "That's stupid as hell." But he wrote right. it, and it showed up in Wild Wild West. It showed, and it, the movie got killed, but Wild Wild West had to fight like a giant spider. So it's like, like ah, that. There it, it is. It's <laughs> like that with me and character names. Dakota okay. Bregman has been a character name in like four different things that I've John developed. Peters. <laughs> and, and now eventually I, f I finally found a place for her uh, in Gundam. Yep. Good job. So, and now, and now my character is Dakota as well. Cool. I'll pass it over. I was going to do it. Yeah, should we play? Yeah, yeah show me, on. Show me what's So, I brought my own save in. Thank you very much, Xbox Play Anywhere. So good. I love it. Like, I, you know, as somebody who's a ride or die PlayStation, I've been so impressed with Xbox on this. Uh, does, I mean, process. does PlayStation have a version of this that works as well? I guess not, right? Because the games aren't on PC. Yeah, yeah. To start the, with. The, the games they put on I PC. I mean, they are, but like a year later in the port and is they're shit. And they're not like your save transfers or anything like right. that. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, score one for Xbox yeah. on, on that. And this actually happened to me. So I started playing. I was like, I want to play on the biggest screen possible, on the biggest and best screen possible. I've yeah. got the big 65 inch OLED TV oh, yeah, yeah. in my living room. So I'm playing on the Xbox. You get rid of that garbage. You get the 83 inch. Me and oh, you got the 83. Yeah. Okay. You have to remember, like, my wife has to sign off on this stuff as well. I, I got capped yeah. at 65 <laughs> inches. <laughs> um, but then, and I didn't really have. I, 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 I'm a PC guy. Uh, primarily, you know, I was editor of PC gamer for many years. I like PC games. But in all honesty, I would rather sit on the couch in front of a big TV than sit at a desk in front of a 27 inch PC monitor. Because PC gaming sucks. Right? Yeah. I don't agree with that. <laughs> I was hoping I could but slide him up. Here's, here's, what, here's, what, here's what flips me around. Yeah. I'm going to digress so many, I'm glad we've got a lot of time because I'm going to fucking digress so many times. Um, you know, we created this stupid, Adam and I created this fucking stupid word game, Loodle. Yeah. You can go to Loodle, you can go to Loodle Game, L E W L L E W D L E Game dot com, or you can go find it on uh, Android, the Android and iOS app stores. When Wordle came out a couple of years ago, Adam and I, because we're like fucking eight years old, kept typing in like penis and boobs and stuff like that. So oh, won't, why, why won't it let us do dirty words? Yeah. And I said to Adam, like, why don't we, like, wouldn't it be good if there was like a version of Wordle that only let you do dirty? It was only dirty words, yeah. dirty Wordle, basically. Yeah. And Adam was like, well, we could, like, I could build that really fast. I was like, well, let's fucking do it. So I came up with a dictionary of like, I don't know, I think I came up with 69 words to start, right? And, and the idea was that like, we'll do 69 words and then we'll just like peace out. Because like, it's a stupid gimmick. It, you know, Wordle's hot right now. So we'll piggyback off the back of it. We'll do like our parody version. Maybe a few thousand people will play it. 
and then yeah, we'll move, we'll move on to the next thing. Um, and we put it up on the web, and we promoted it as much as we could. Um, Grassroots, just like Gun Dog. And my thing was like, maybe it, maybe again, maybe if ten thousand people play this, I would consider that a massive hit. Yeah. And then, but that the the Among Us thing happened like. Pokemon started playing. She she was playing it every day on yeah. her stream for a while. In fact, yeah. we did. This was so cool. Go go find the clip from Pokey's stream where she did this. She was playing it, and I was watching her live. And I said to Adam, because it's because it's a because it's a web service game. I said to Adam, can we like, can we push stuff to the game in real time? Yeah. And he said, yeah. If you want, what do you want to do? And I said, can, can we send her a message while she's on, the, while she's on the um, the game yeah. on the game and. Um, and so she was literally playing, and like a, a message popped up saying, "Hi, Pokey! Like, thanks for playing. This today's word is for you." And she freaked out. She, oh my God! I'm so glad. It was like in that. Like, she's got like tens of thousands of people watching her. Yeah. That's how Among Us, you know, blew up and totally. only up, and these games that blow you get, that get streamers' attention. So again, I originally thought like maybe ten thousand people will play it. Uh, we had at its height. We had 350,000 people playing it live at any given time. 350,000 people at once. Yeah. Um, and 15 million total active users. 15 Crazy. million. Crazy, dude. And Adam was like, we could, we could be making so much money on this right now because it was, we, we wasn't monetized at all. I said, I don't care about money. It's just a fun goof. He's like, dude, if I just put a fucking Google ad on this, it's just going to sit at the bottom. I yeah. can do it in five minutes and we will make money. I was like, fine. If it's not, as long as it's not obtrusive, I don't want to be like Mr. Click through the ads to yep, like get yep, to something. Yep, yep. He put the, the Google ad on it. And like, I had to, I fast forward to the end. I had to start a fucking LLC. LLC right, yeah. And it, because it was making so much money. Um, and now Adam and I have this, we started this company and now we have this company that exists that he and I both co-own. Um, and the money that's in that account, because it still makes money, uh, there's an ad on the, we have a thing where like you can play one word a day, but if you watch an ad, you can play as many words as, as yep. you want, um, which I think is not too obtrusive. Uh, and it ended up making, it, it, Adam was like, go look at the, I was like, holy shit, that's a real amount of money. He goes, yeah, I told you. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so now we have this company account, which is ostensibly for like developing whatever the next stupid fucking idea is. And we yeah, do yeah. have, we have a couple of things we're doing right now, but in real life, it's just a slush fund for buying stupid shit that we yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, totally. Adam sent me this link to this ridiculous um, 49 inch Samsung, super ultra wide, 5120 by 1440 OLED monitor. Yeah. It's fucking, I mean, you've got something similar out yeah, there, Tim, Tim Gettys, is, it's yeah, absolutely yeah. insane. I was like, oh, but once you see it, like, oh my god, I gotta get one. Yeah. So I said, I'm gonna buy it for, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna use Loodle Bucks to buy it, like yeah. the free money that the we have. The free money that's just. And Adam's like, account. oh, I kind of want to get one. I said, dude, that money is as much yours as it is mine. Just fucking buy one out of the Loodle account. Yeah. So we both got one. Love it. And now we're both in love with it. I've got the Super Ultra Wide on the desk. I put this um, on uh, on the Super Ultra Wide. Yeah. Starfield out of the box supports Ultra Wide, but not. Super ultra <laughs> two different categories, um, but with a very very simple uh, change to a yeah to an ini file. Yeah. It took me two minutes. You can get super ultra wide, and it looks fucking amazing. And so you can go to my Twitter account and see some pictures that I posted. And now that's the only way I want to play. Like Sorry I to make you play I'll play, I'll play I'll play here today You're on this sad little it. fucking box. You're how big this it. is. Book almost fell over. Thank you very much, But uh, no, like I'm an Xbox guy. I'm a PC guy. I like both. I like sitting in the living room. But like 99% now of my Starfield time is going to be on PC with the Super Ultra Wide because it looks nutty. I love it so much. So where are we picking up in Dakota's story? So as you, she's still kind of a baby. She's level 11. Yeah. Um, I where am I right now? I'm at the lodge. I think. Yeah. yeah so I'm at the lodge. Um, as I said, as I've said before, and I still haven't, I still haven't done a single, I haven't even started the main quest. Nice. But I'm thinking like maybe I should because you know, Mike, Mike told me that I've been thinking, like, oh, the game's kind of stingy with XP. Like you don't, you don't level up all that often in this game. Yeah. And I learned that's because side quests don't give you that much yeah, XP compared main, to main, main quests. The, stuff, yeah, the yeah. main quest gives you more XP. So I don't know. I, I could start the main quest 
but I kind of still want to just fuck around. Do fuck around then. Should we just fuck around? Oh, I yeah, want to show you that. I want to show you the thing that, for anyone watching at home who might be interested in this. this oh, you're gonna pick. You're gonna grab it, aren't you? Well, I've already got it, but I can oh, show okay, you where okay. it is. If you go down here in the lodge. I've got to remember exactly where it is. It's here, over here. It's here and then right. Is it over here? No, no, no. Right the other way. Go the other way? No, no. Okay. You're wait, wait. Oh, so straight and then yeah. take the right through there. Okay. Go straight it's here and then it's going to go that right. One more straight. Right there. here? No, no. The other one. The one straight you're through here? Yeah, and then on your left. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. So this usually would have a suit on it. This is what I learned from Starfield TikTok. Down here in uh, the basement of the lodge is a space suit, uh, helmet and pack, like the whole setup. That is apparently one of the better spacesuits in the game. Yeah. And it's behind a master lock, right? So you're not supposed to have it early in the game. But stuff, thank you, TikTok. I don't know if I can do it with, let's see if we can do it. I know where it is. If you mouse over just the right area, so I can find it. There it is. There it is, yeah. Boom. I can I can just grab it right out of there without having to pick the lock. Yeah. Thank you, Bethesda. Good job. They Bethesda. will patch this. Uh, so grab it before they do. Yep, 100%. Um, and now I've got one of the better spacesuits in the game, right out of the gate. But it's, if you're looking, it's like literally right, like, I don't know, you see there, a couple of inches above the door handle. Yeah. And like, it's it's really, it's a tiny, tiny. Uh, uh, yeah, it's the uh, one uh, pixel thing. I saw a lot of people, yeah, obviously it mouse and keyboard people were talking. Mouse about and keyboard, it's even easier to do. Here, a lot of people were saying if you're tr struggling with it, drop your stick sensitivity, that way you can really just get it in yeah, there. Yeah, some people crouch, it makes it easier, they, they say, but mouse so and keyboard is easy. I, I did you it on PC with mouse it. and keyboard. Yeah, yeah. Super, super easy. I'm on, a con I'm on a controller right there, you see, you can find it. That's the little spot right there. You just gotta be very, like, it's easy to kind of overshoot it. Yeah. Right there. Grab yeah. everything out of there. What are the better suits in the game? It, out of the game. And it's that thing where even if you have a better suit, lots of money. You can come here, grab this, go sell it, flip it real quick. Right. Drop it in the trade authority right. or whatever, get the cash. So that's one That's one little one little tip. And then another one, let's go back upstairs. Well, watch back. Clint in the Twitch chat is saying, and there's also that box down here that can hold everything too. Yeah, well, there's a box. Which was like the bane of your existence when people are well, like, what a, are you talking about? It's okay, so, so there, there, is a bo there is a crate down here that's a, that it has an unlimited stash in it. The one I've been using though yeah. is I oh, go up the stairs here. Go to the rooms. Go, I gotta I gotta remember which room is mine. Uh, down is here. It like this one? No, 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 no. It's way it's further down. Go is all the way to this? the wall at the end of the thing. You remember go, where it is? Yeah, go down here, go down left. Here. Where am I going? Left. Left? And then It's not that one. Yeah, it's uh you got it's it. It's this one. Yeah. This locker here, unlimited storage. Yeah. Right? So I go here, uh, all of my shit is in here. Perfect. Now, that's nice, but what it what, what the game doesn't have yet, and I kind of understand why they don't have it, because I do think it would make it... Again, the whole encumbrance issue is, is interesting, right? You don't want to... You don't necessarily want to be... It's too easy if you can just carry everything everywhere. Yeah. I like the idea of the lockers all being connected. Like, if it's in there, I can get it from a locker floor. anywhere. Yeah, they, they're yeah, not yeah. doing it. I kind of understand why. But like a lot of my encumbrance issues now have been solved by just dumping everything in this locker at the lodge. Right. They, yeah. That's one of the things. Back to like you know one of the things I said on the review that I uh, stand by and I think contextualizes a lot of things is that nothing in this kind of mechanic encumbrance or that is a mistake. It was all choices. Right. They did it on purpose. And I do think that there's a lot of purpose there in the well. We want you to feel a connection to your room. We want you to buy a house and feel a connection to that house. We want you to have these outposts that mean something to you. And while that can be annoying in like all these different ways, it is also, I understand what they're building, right? It's the same way with encumbrance of, they want you to have to make the choice of what you're picking up in right. the moment for what you're doing. It's, it, it, it's, it's I'd love to have like a wonky conversation, and maybe you will, so interesting, I spoke to Todd this week, he and I have been chatting back and forth yeah. about my experience with yeah. the game, because that's what I do, you know, I hang out with like high level people, yeah. Yeah. Only, only the best people. Only the best, look at um, me right here. And he actually said to me, like, "Oh, I really, I really, I really enjoyed like your encumbrance rant." Yeah, yeah. He said, yeah. He, "He said at some point we should talk about like how why we do it yeah, that way." Sure. I'd be fascinated to have that conversation with him. It's not about like should a game have encumbrance or not. I personally don't like it. Like, look, think it, look at think of it this way: the two just talks about the two games that are probably going to divvy up game of the year: Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate Three and Zelda, and Zelda uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom does not do encumbrance at all. Carry as not much as you true. want. What? Not true. Isn't it true? For is there a limit? Resources, but remember weapons. Weapons right, and shields. Right, right. You have but a, it's a big deal when you level. My up. wife's probably played five hundred hours of Tears of the Kingdom. She's never complained once about how much she can carry. Sure. Uh, Baldur's Gate Three has encumbrance. 
but it's very generous. Yeah. I haven't yet. I've played a ton of that. I've not hit the, the cap of what I can carry. So it's not about whether, whether a game should have it or not. It's how you do it. And my view is that at the beginning, when a game is trying to make a first impression, yeah. I think the encumbrance is too strict. I, until I until I could get to a point, and again, I had to look at TikToks. I had to have people in chat tell me, "Oh, you can do this. You can do that." I wouldn't necessarily figure this out on my own. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily know that locker was there unless somebody told me because the game doesn't tell you. Yeah. You have to figure it out for yourself. Now that I'm now that I'm unencumbered, I'm running around. But like, I was genuinely so pissed off. Like my first few hours of the game, I felt like we're really burdened by the constant. You can't run. You can't fast travel. You know, my oxygen's all, I have to like sit and wait for my oxygen to come back because I'm, I'm over encumbered. Sure. It was really spoiling my time with the game when I wanted to just run around and have fun. Yeah. So I, I now, encumbrance is fine, it just should not be unduly burdensome. Here's what I think is an interesting argument, and I want to use words of a smart man, Gary Witta, is that no one's first impression is what then their final review would be of the game. You know what I mean? Yes, yeah, and exactly. And I do think that Starfield is obtuse in so many ways and you want to have that fun and jump right in and have the adventure but then i think the fact that as you learn the systems the mechanics what you're doing and as i keep what my review keeps me when i talk to people about it of role playing a role that's when it becomes like you know what i don't need to pick i, I have all these fucking resources this fucking you know calcium or whatever i'm gonna drop that because i'm not even doing that shit right now maybe one well, i'm day keeping all that because i know that if i drop it i'm gonna regret it later when i want to research it's like oh i had all that I but then you. i dropped it right but i think it's just about choices and making that thing of what is your character doing in the moment what do you want to do and then there are these things that you want to go fine and yeah the game doesn't necessarily tell you it but you find out eventually whether right. it be TikTok or a friend or this or how much you want to again how much do you want to put into the game to then feel like you've earned that knowledge I think it's this weird one because my, my big one is um, playing through the game on my original game just you know zero zero game save zero zero I was like I was I'm like it is so slow to level up there's so much cool shit in this tree I want to explore, but I'm just piling it into ballistics and pistols right now so I can kill everything, right? And then as I played more of the game and I really got into New Game Plus, and even if you didn't want to do New Game Plus, just playing more of the game, I was like, oh, I see what they're doing. I see why I'm leveling up, because they yeah. want me to be here and for that's hours, the thing. And hours, I actually, and hours and hours I actually kind of regret going off about encumbrance and some of the other things that were bothering me, because I knew at the back of my mind, like once I get this game like under my under my belt and yeah. I understand it better, I'm not gonna have these problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you ask me on day one what I think, yeah, I, it's a, the encumbrance is annoying me. Now it doesn't annoy me as much. But like seriously, this game does not hold your hand at all. No. Very much at all. There's like, there's very little in the way of like tutorial pop-ups or tool tips or anything. If you wanna get the best out of this game early on, I s strongly suggest go, go on Starfield TikTok look at guides because there's a bunch of it's not like it's not cheating i think the game does not do a great job of onboarding you in the first in the initial hours yeah. so starfield TikTok and other and other guides that are out there like a lot of these TikToks, like 10 things that you should like know like yeah, yeah, yeah. when you start playing starfield a lot of them are actually really useful tips and you should know those things so take, take a minute to like scroll through well, starfield TikTok and i and agree like, but i at some of this i stuff. then appreciate back to what you guys did on the x cast this week right of then you have these moments of your fishing stories and hearing you say something and, and paris like i didn't even know that was there and me in the car be like oh it was such a great moment i remember right. it but then also if paris say something i'm like oh i never saw that i never knew i could do that like i love that idea now granted we're talking about characters and moments and planets rather than like where can you store your shit, right? right. Like, it's like, but it is, if that had been annoying me or this, that, and the other, like there, I, there was a few things or something, something about the cargo bay you guys said that I was like, oh, I didn't fucking know that. And I played. I you know, know, I mean, just talking to other people who were playing the game will So, oh yeah, I like, like so I didn't know that the reason why the game seems to be very stingy about XP is because main quest is where the, where the yeah, real yeah, XP yeah, rewards yeah. are. Um, so yeah, definitely, I mean, don't rely on the game entirely. Like for example, I haven't done any shipbuilding yet, and part of the reason why is, again, I went to shipbuilding and it just dumps you in at the deep end. It doesn't yeah. help oh, yeah. you, there's no tutorial. I'm gonna end up having to watch like a YouTube, like dummies, I'm, there's a million of them already. And, of course, yeah. Because you know, like, it, it, it's needed. Tw uh, like, TikTok.com here's, 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 slash at kind of funny games. Here are the top 10 things like to get you started in shipbuilding, for yeah, example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you, the game needs that support system because it does not provide it on its own. Yeah. Um, and in general, I saw a couple of things like, oh, the game, the game doesn't really get started for the first 12 hours. And people are saying this like as a, almost like as a brag, like a selling point. The game is so huge, like it takes 12 hours for it to really start. I don't think that's a selling point. 
it shouldn't take 12 hours to get into it. Like, it should grab you right up. It, sh it should be doing certain things that grab you right away. Like, you know the old thing, like, oh, this TV show's great, but yeah, like, it you takes all oh, episode no, five yeah, to get yeah, going? Uh, no. I ain't got fucking time for that. Like, I'm not gonna watch five episodes of television. My time is valuable. I have fucking kids. I'm not gonna watch five episodes of television that I'm not enjoying because totally. because it might get good. Totally. Like, you gotta grab me right away. Yeah. So, and I think, th I think the same is true of video games. I agree with you 100%, and I feel like some, it, for me with Starfield, when I jumped into it, and I granted I'm a Bethesda veteran at this point, like, I enjoyed the pace of what I was doing. I knew when I was doing side stuff, I was like, this isn't that endearing, but I also know it's not the main mission. You know what I mean? I should jump off, I should do this, I should do that. But like when I looked at shipbuilding and stuff, and even the uh, the research terminals, mm -hmm. I got in there and I was like, immediately shut it. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, and I don't need to know right now. I'm in hour three, four, five. Let's go off and let's see the thing, and let's, you know do the mission they want me to do and let that hold my hand and then my natural curiosity come back and find those things to try to right, figure right, out. Right, right, right. Because then again, it is a big deal when I go back to research and I'm like, oh, I can't do it till I do this, which means that. I'm like, okay, I kind of get what I'm looking for here. So, I'm going to go do some Freestyle Ranger stuff because I enjoyed the Freestyle yeah, I Ranger love the Freestyle Ranger. Ranger. So, um, one, another thing that I, everyone's complained about the maps, right? The, the they map. should, the outrageous. That there's not a local map. Okay. And like my thing about the local map business here is like, again, like I, I get, I assume what Todd and team are going for. I mean, we want you to come here and we want you to feel like you know Aquila City, that you know what you're doing on Jemson. I get the idea of it, but when you're you're here on Jemson, right? And it's like you have three districts that look pretty much fucking identical. Mm -hmm. And so when I'm there and I'm like, I'm gonna run to the thing, oh, but is, so, I got is this so the one so, with the trying, health the one, or is this the one with the other? Trying to find the apartment where my parents are because I have that trait. To, I, had to, I had to go online and find it. Yeah. Because the game doesn't help you. So the, the, the first time I ever pressed surface map, I was like, what the fuck is that? That's not a, what the fuck is this? This isn't a map. It's just a bunch of fucking disjointed waypoints. Yeah. And fast travel is nice, but again, when you're fucking encumbered, which I've been constantly until recently, yeah. you can't fast travel. <laughs> this is not a map, dude. Yeah, 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 That's yeah, not yeah, a map. Yeah, 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 I, agree, um, I agree. And when you're running around on like neon or whatever, and it's like yeah. all these little corridors and tunnels and hallways, so the game does have. Yeah, it's that thing where I, like I, I I'm getting ready for uh, uh, what's the space? Uh, Phantom Liberty in Cyberpunk, right? Mm -hmm. So I turned on Cyberpunk to kind of be like reacclimate, and like immediately like there's the little thing with like all the shops and the streets and the icons. You, you and want like, it? I shouldn't God, have to nice. like in my futuristic world. Should I not, can't put on my watch where the fuck I'm going. I should not have to wonder about where things are. The other thing that really annoys me is okay, so like when I, when you select like an active mission, obviously yeah. it's giving you the little marker yeah. there, right? And it's on my it's on my compass as well. Yeah. So I, you know, follow this, and this this makes sense, right? Go towards it. Every now and again, though, you'll get to that really annoying point, and a lot of games have this, where you're like 10 meters away, but you can't figure out where it is because it's above you or below you. Sure, and it's like, sure, sure, well, sure, how do sure. I get around there? Yeah. I got stuck on that fucking casino space station. I couldn't figure out how to get out. Yeah. Um, because the waypoint doesn't tell you. So here's the thing, right? I can turn on the scanner, yeah. and it gives me this, yeah. right? Yeah. And this is handy. Oh, yeah. Right? Big time. Until at some point it will just fucking disappear. Half not clear or whatever. Right? Yeah, oh, yeah. If the, oh, we have to do it again? Yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. So even in the future, Greg, it is amazing how many things can be solved by just turning it off and on again. I know, right? So turn your scanner <laughs> off and on again, and, you'll, and your little marker will come back up. Yeah. But this is not how I, I, I would, this is not my favorite way of like a, a pathfinding line. For me, like, I feel like, you know, you talk about a lot of things they should fix or do or whatever, and I agree with some and not with others. I would think with this, it's a, as easy as an addition that you put in a skill point drop that is like, it gives you the eight HUD display on your right. cybernetic eye or what, you know, whatever you want to do that can drop the waypoint, can show you the map, can do the thing. The thing that bugged me, that annoyed me last night was, um, I got a message from my parents. They said, oh, you know, swing by the, so I did this thing, right? You can have your, you can have parents in the game. Yeah. And you can go hang out with them. I loved your take on Xcast of like, yeah, some people probably had a pretty shitty childhood, so this right. would be a great way to see what a loving family's like. I, 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 I kind of stole that from like a, somebody did a tweet about like, I'm just going to live here with my parents. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Um, but like, so for example, I've got, I'll give you, I'll give you an example of it right now. I've got my quest log, right? Look at, I don't know, is it, is it activities? Let's see, where is it? Um, is it one of these? I don't remember which one it is. Maybe you got it all. Uh, there's a thing that says like, Go, go visit your parents, or or like I've got a thing that says like come visit me. Maybe it's in my inventory. Let me look. Uh, oh, what are your notes? My notes. So I've got like, like a note, dad, note, note from, from mom. mom. 
Uh, I'd really love it if you visited. Aww. I miss you. I learned from Dad. There's something I want to talk to you about. That's right? So awesome. in video game parlance, Such a right? dad way too. Right? Nothing, Nothing urgent. urgent. Yeah. It's like the dreaded we need to talk text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, nothing urgent, right? But I would like, if you want, like clearly, in, in, the game wants, wants me to go there. Yeah, right? yeah. Okay, but how do I get there? That no is not a that doesn't oh, appear that a any, doesn't appear anywhere in the log. Gotcha. So I can't pull up a I can't pull up a line, and now I have to like remember where they live. And I had I had to go online to um, am I in the trade district right now or the residential district? See, I don't even fucking know. I'm so turned around right now. Let me just do one piece of housekeeping, all right? Yeah. I've seen it go through the chat every so often. People being like, man, that Xbox sounds like a PS4. That Xbox fan is loud. I'll have you all know, that's the fucking PC, as always. All right, the, X-Cats, uh, is the Xbox... Is that the laptop here? No, I think it's, I think it's the oh, tower okay. over there. Whisper quiet, because that's close. Ma- Xbox, actually, maybe it is this one. Xbox is fucking whisper quiet, dude. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah, but we have a shotgun mic, obviously. And so I think, right. yeah, you're picking up this 2015 Origin laptop. That's the commercial Actually, it's 2014. That's so just shut up about the Xbox district. and realize that PC gaming. Can sucks. I like? Can I go? Oh, I can. not Okay, so I'm gonna fast travel to the residential district because I'm not encumbered anymore. Finally, yeah, I can fast travel. So fast travel's nice. So the residential district is where my parents live. They live in uh, the Pioneer Tower. So I need that, again. I have to go online to fucking find that out. Sure. That's where they. Becky live. Lynch ain't got no parents, so I don't know anything about this. This is cool. This is the Apollo Tower. Yeah, I mean, both of my parents are dead, so like, I'm just fucking hanging out with my, with my pretend parents. Sure, yeah. Let me see here. Where's the Pioneer Tower? And again, no map, right? Can't yeah. drop a pin. Yeah. So, just got to fucking do it the old-fashioned way. Just Sabotage says, around. select the mission, and I can't show where the parents live, right? Sure this isn't a mission. Well as well. I mean, if it's... It, it, it doesn't... It didn't pop for me. Like, I, I imagine it would probably be... Like, is it in miscellaneous? Like, it's, it would, it's, it would either be one of these. these blues, or it would be an activity. Supply line, that's not What's it. What's a light in the darkness? That's not it. That I know that's not it. A light in the darkness is the, the, the news one. Oh, I didn't do that one. Um, that's not it. That's not yeah, it. Yeah, no. So maybe it would be if you go to your these are, uh, these activities. Are the, is there one in here for dad, mom? That's not it. Like, none, none of these are it's go like talk crazy. to my parents. Okay. Right? Yeah, so it right. doesn't it doesn't pop as a mission, which means I can't uh, uh, give it a waypoint. So I've just got to wander around looking for the Pioneer Tower, which I will eventually find, and I can and I can sprint, because I'm not encumbered anymore, so that's good. Um, I just don't know where the fuck it is. Where is the fucking Pioneer Tower? I'm look, Literally, last night, I was like looking up for like tall buildings, like, where Sharp are the towers? Yeah, yeah, I shouldn't have to do this. Like, this is a, quali- this is a really basic quality of life issue. Um, and I, now I can already sense that I'm, like, backtracking. Oh, I, yeah, you're winded. Even, even when uh, unencumbered. You uh, will get into trouble for sprinting too much. Hey, it's just like real life. <sighs> I know, but like certain, but like hold isn't, on, hold on. isn't so, part of the point of like video games is that they're not like real life because real life is fucking shit. Imagine, and I get imagine away from that eighty-four. It. Hey, I have the same park as Gary. His parents are gonna be to the right of the tram when you get off. As far as that particular note, it's not a it's mission. Only ship, only we know. Oh wait, so then because I went to the apartment and they weren't and they weren't there, so they said they said the come right. by the apartment. So, okay, you got off the tram, so yeah, okay. you just put your back to the tram, yeah. and then you yeah, go, go right. Go to the right. <laughs> That's not my dad. Vandy Man says, how do you not remember where you grew up, Gary? <laughs> His ah, power power oh, yeah, okay. So, okay, but, but, okay, so, it is, so, but watch this, though. Yeah. Unless, unless, maybe, again, if there's, like, I don't know, like, how real-time the uh, day-night cycling is in yeah, this yeah, game, yeah. but, like, when I went there last night, they weren't there. I don't get a drink. And I was looking around, going, "Oh, maybe this, maybe they've been kidnapped. Maybe there's a note <laughs> somewhere. Maybe there's a mission. This is where I, this is where, where my parents live. And look, there's, there's fucking no one here. So, huh. I've I've been everywhere. I'm thinking maybe like, is there a? Oh, what's, oh, hold, hold on, hold on. Is your hold on now? I picked up your high school backpack. Good as new. There's so many pockets in an old Apple. It's cleaning your brand new. Argos. Best storage on the market. I mean, let me know and I'll donate. Oh, okay. So what does so that mean? Is this, is this something, is this actionable? No, this is nothing. Nick in the chat says, I saw them at the lodge with your crew. Oh. I saw two people in the lodge that I didn't recognize. They that were at the lodge? I, I, I saw two people that I do not know who they were. Let's go back there. Okay. Wait, Up I, in the sky. Can I fast travel from here? Yeah, you should be. Able should to. be able to. Oh my yeah. God, it's so fucking nice to be able to fast travel again. Sure. Now that I'm not encumbered. Oh, I did the wrong, did the wrong map. Hold on. No, you did the right one. Oh, you can do it from there. Surface map. 
just roll up there. The, it'll expand out, and you can click. The, you can click on uh, the live stream. So there at the very bottom. Pop it. So, uh, chat, do we agree that the Imagine Dragons song for Starfield is actually pretty good? Because I, I listen to it every day. Yeah, Wait, it, it, Imagine Dragons did a Starfield yeah. song? Yeah. Oh, Children my, of the Sky. My kid loves Imagine whoa, Dragons. Whoa. They crushed it. He's got the Starfield Like when fucking Paul McCartney did that Destiny song? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. I, I Somehow that that piece of marketing was completely lost on Ryan me. Ryan Ma uh, Mackna says it's so bad. Ryan, you know what you're talking about. You don't know music. Look at Alex likes it. Are they here? Uh, yeah, this is them, right? Because I don't know these two people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I somehow completely missed them. So the cool thing is, I think I'm right in saying this, these character models are based on me. Yeah. Well, so, like, right. I made my character look a certain way, Yeah. right? And that, so she kind of looks like my mom, right? Has similar facial features. Yeah, pictures. I think that it's cool that they did it, like, um... In reverse from Fallout 4. We've lived, this Remember in Fallout 4, you designed yourself, your, you, yourself and your partner, and then that made the kid look a certain way, right? You know yeah. what I should do? I should put Talking subtitles on you. because I, mean, oh, I yeah, don't have that. You, and we can put them up too. See what mom's saying over here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me She's probably saying, children of the sky! Let's put subtitles on. I, I usually have them off, but like for the benefit of the stream, we'll, we'll put them on. It's made my day. There's just so much to do in New Atlanta. Well, one of your old classmates <laughs> made junior VP at Gal Bank. Her father was bragging. Is that is she, is she should be throwing shade at me? Like, I, oh, why don't you? No, no, it's bank? just funny of like, like just you know, like talking, catching up with your oh, regular parents. That's the truth. With both of our pensions, we still couldn't afford it. But with what you send home, well, we get by. And of all the places we've lived, New Atlantis is just so what, I mean, full of culture and life. The mom's pretty cute. Like, like, what's she doing with this fucking dude? You know, you and I both know it's. Uh, look at our wives and look well, at us. Well, what's my wife doing with me? Yeah, what's Jen say, doing yeah, with exactly. you? Yeah, look exactly. at our wives and look at us. That might be the most realistic thing in Starfield. <laughs> guys <laughs> punching above their weight. Yeah, yeah. I, hope you don't mind, but I figured the lodge was just a nat stop away. Ooh, I just serious just crow's feet, that dude. Oh, this place is everything I imagine. Do you know I dreamt of joining Constellation when I was a girl? I don't know if I go that far. But I'll let your father talk before he bursts. I Sometimes was I feel like, with the even though you might not be interested, play out with the dialogue trees, because you never know when it and might he heard you cause going, something to yeah, pass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, we work together to get the piece clean and restored. She fires beautifully now. We, uh, when you play a game like this, will you exhaust all the dialogue right. options or just get in and out? I swear, your father would I mean, in this scenario like with them, I would exhaust all of them. There's right. that. There's those times I where saying, I'm in an RPG and I'm going, I'm like, I, I don't like you. you. Sir, You're not giving me anything of value. I'm out of here. But like when you find when I find the characters I care about, the storylines I care about, I'll do the whole thing. But like when fucking Sarah over here tries to open her mouth, I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm anyway, seeing you later, all right? It's yours. It's a, it's a, it's a work relationship. I'm going right. to come bring you artifacts, you safe. then I'm going to get out of here. I don't need to talk to you. Maybe get a good place Andrea, what do you got to say? What do you got to say? Well, we'll let you get back you to done it, much romancing but, in the game? Uh, yes. Miss Noel said we could look around. But it's not steamy place. like in Mass Effect, right? It's kind of like not in front of the children vibes. Pretty much, yeah. Miss yeah, Noel, yeah, yeah, like, it's so right. weird. Like, Baldur's Gate is so fucking horny. So horny. And this is like the exact opposite. Yeah. Is that yeah. typical for Bethesda? You don't get a lot of, you don't get a lot of, lot of horniness? Yeah, not, not like in the way you're thinking. Yeah. I've got lifetimes. You know, it's supposed to be us taking care of you, right? I'd like to say we'll pay you back the money you sent home. You're gonna die. Well, you I appreciate it. We appreciate it. I feel like none of this is. This, I feel like nah, this is not. This is not going anywhere, parents. right? It's, it's back to what you're talking. Now you're role playing, having a mom and dad. Kind of a waste of time. Yeah, but I mean, again, it fleshes you, your character out, and you out, and the, what your stakes are, and all that jazz. Get me back to my ship. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Okay. Don't fuck up my character. Children of the sky. Whoa. Flying up so high. Everybody remember this, of course, is Gary Wood's game. We're hanging out. We're having a good time. If you're hanging out and having a good time with us, well, hey, doctor, you know what you should do? Sub and do all that jazz, you know what I mean? Like, hang out with us and stuff, because we're hanging out and having a good time. I remember, if you have Twitch Prime, you got Amazon Prime Gaming, and that gives you a free sub. It also gives you a bunch of free stuff, which is cool. All the time, it's like, you know, I'm, I get a lot of Diablo drops nowadays and stuff. I have fun with that. But I'll say, children of the sky, whoa. I lost 
stuff marked over here. Flying up so high. Let me be the one. Let me be the sign. I don't know where he's going. He wants to go, so I'm just gonna put him in orbit over here. We're gonna, we're gonna travel around Bondar. And instead, I'll answer, answer some chat stuff. Um, EJ Matter says, "Leave Sarah alone. Not in your life. All right. I don't want anything to do with Sarah. You can have Sarah. Don't worry about that." Uh, Everything is entertainment says that backpack gives you plus ten carry weight. Oh, the one that his mom was talking about. Where do we get that for him? Did she have it? I wasn't paying attention to it. She was like, take it. Everything is entertainment on YouTube, I'm asking you. Or anybody who knows, I guess. Uh, Ma Mason Dude. Anyone trying to use melee weapons? I don't find much use for them. You know, I never did. As soon as I got melees, it was, that's, a, that's an immediate sell for me. Thank you very much. Whoop, right away. Sell that. Get out of here. Take the credits. Um... Ramsey says, is your final score still a 4, point, a four out of 5, Greg? Uh, it is, I'm definitely at a 4 out of 5 now. Uh, since I don't have to score anything, who cares? It is that idea that, you know, I was talking to Bless about this on Games Daily. Like, I've left a 3 out of 5 behind a long time ago. Uh, I still think there's a lot of 3 out of 5 stuff in this game. Uh, but for sure, I'm having an amazing, uh, a, great, a great time with it, right? And then the question is, am I having, is it an amazing enough experience that it becomes a 5 out of 5 in, 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 on the kind of funny scale? Not a 10 out of 10, IGN, whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? But in terms of everything else, not my thing. But again, it's in the running for my game of the year, which is impressive enough, I'd say. Why am I in space? You want it back on your ship? I, I said, get me back to my ship. I said, don't fucking drive it. Why don't you just floating around a I said, like, bring the car around. You're like the yellow float. ballet, Wait, bring the car around. Do? Take you on a fucking what joyride. What are you going to do in Jameson? God, like, there should be a fucking valet mode on, on, the, on the frontier. You know what? I'm going to fucking pee now, and you figure out where you want to go. Fuck, right? Fuck. Nothing happened. You want to, uh, you, oh, you got a drink, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck have you done? Where have you Chill taken me? What the, the fuck is this? Where is he? Did, did, did he fucking jump? Where has he even put me? This isn't even the planet, is this isn't Jemison? Where the fuck is Jemison? Abandoned outpost? What the fuck has he done? Isn't it this one over here? Yeah. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, I don't, I, I don't love the star map either. It's cool to look at in that kind of stellar cartography kind of way, but it's not easy to find where you want to go. Okay, this is where we want to be. Because I wanted to talk to ship services. Well, ship services is over here, right? Or is it behind me? Is it this guy? Howdy. Excuse me. Oh, I think Howdy. ship services is behind me, right? Is that, uh, is that, sh that ship, is that ship services? Where the fuck is it? Is it the terminal? I haven't used it here. One guy over. This guy, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I see him. Well, he's kind of like camouflaged there. You can't really see him. Okay. Anything I can help you with? And he's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship and you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Sure, how about it? 
All right, this is where I get totally fucking lost. I need someone to give me like a full tutorial. Greg, have you done much ship modification? I just upgraded stuff. Well, I've so never, like, I've never done the build for, build. For Andy example, can come in and tell you exactly what to do. Add a module to my ship, like a shielded cargo hold, so I can smuggle contraband. Like, how would I go about that? Like, where I do know. I even start? I have no the idea. The game tells you nothing. Yeah. Right? It just drops you here. It says, like, okay, figure it out. I mean, if you ship hit build. X on ship builder, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So, what am I? What am I looking at here? I, I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. Look at this. Andy! Oh, Andy's the builder, right? Andy's the ship builder. Well, teach, teach us about ship building. This, this game doesn't do a good job of like teaching you how to modify your ship. If I, like, I have not I modified my ship at all. If I want to do something simple like add a shielded cargo module for smuggling contraband, how you, do I do that? You have to go to the right area, which is... There's a couple of different places that sell shielded cargo, but I would go to Porima at the Red Mile. Oh, so I can't do it here? I have to no, be because not all not all ship, because it's illegal to sell shielded cargo. Oh. So you have to, like, do that at a shady place. Well, okay, so I'm at Jemison right now. What is something I could do? Um, I mean, you could do a lot of shit. So um, hit, hit the B button, go back. Okay. So immediately yeah. you're met with these two options. You can go into ship building, which is, like, I can change all of my pieces, including cosmetics, or you can go to upgrade ship. Okay, and upgrade, upgrade ship all right. allows you to just, like, I want better shields, I want better engines, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And all it's going to do is kind of, like, if it has the upgraded versions of those models, okay. it'll show you what you can replace it with. Okay. So let's say I want to upgrade my shields. So th this is what I currently have, right? Yeah. So I click on that. Yeah, and one thing you're going to want to, like, keep in, keep in mind is, like, there's a lot of numbers on the left side that are kind of tough to keep track of, but you'll notice your shield on the left side says max power three. So okay. it's using three of those little slots. Right. So anytime you upgrade it, the max power may be four next time, and you'll have four oh, slots. Oh, so I can assign shield. more power to it. So this Correct. is the 10S protector. Yeah. I can, if I want, upgrade it to the 20S protector. Yeah, so this store only has the 20S. A lot of okay. different stores will have different models. But a that lot is... Of, a lot of the stores might also have the 40s or the whatever, right. like the right. even higher up. But that is that is an upgrade I could just make right now if I right. just click on that. Yeah, right. for 36. Oh, cool. Bucks. Okay, all right, yeah. that's simple enough. Yeah. Yeah. Right. What if I want I like a better that. laser? Um, oh, okay. Now we got some options. Yeah. So right. th this is the one part that's kind of uh, confusing, where like if I just wanted to upgrade my laser, it shows you all of the weapons, and I wish it just showed like. Laser upgrades only. Oh, it's uh, categorized. Yeah, yeah it's not, it, it it's just not shows, only these are lasers. Right, right, it just shows you all weapons. Why so, wouldn't it just show me the things that are in that category? Because you just, can put anything on there. Yeah. So what I right. would, what okay. I did is so, when okay, I, fair enough. When I would come in, I would, I kept it the same because I, I didn't want like like this. I didn't want ballistic ballistic. So I want laser ballistic. So when I'd come in, I'd be like, well, what do I have there now? All right, I have a laser. So then I would go through and just look for lasers and what the number going up. Yeah, and if you hit B uh, to go back real quick to see what you're working with right now, well, I also wish it showed is, you. Is what there you're, no compare button? I wish it showed you what was always. Where's the compare button so I can see if it's how much of an upgrade? It doesn't is. exist. Doesn't exist. Come like, on, the limit doesn't exist. It'll show you that it's being upgraded because the numbers are blue on the left side, but oh. you don't know where you're coming from. Right. So, so anything that I see blue is an upgrade over what Correct. I have. Correct. But I but I can't tell how much of an upgrade. Right. Okay. Exactly. Okay. But all, okay. So, so what I was doing on my PC is like I would screenshot, like a snipping tool screenshot what my yeah. whole thing was, then I would go into here. All right. So for example, like okay, the, ra the range on this one is 1,000 and fire rate 665. Six, yeah. Okay. And remember, lasers are good okay. for taking out shields initially. So there are some lasers that like... And so the 1250, slower fire rate. See that? It's interesting. It tells you when something's an upgrade, but it doesn't tell you when it's a downgrade. It'll be red if it's a downgrade. Yeah, it'll be red. But okay, but six six five and three four nine aren't the same. So, well, why is that saying it's the same? Wait, oh, fire rate's different. Yeah, look. Fire rate six six oh, five. Oh, interesting. Right? Click on that. Compare it to this one. Yeah, that's interesting. I didn't even know. I didn't even notice that. So like. A lot of times you're trading off fire rate. There you go. For, That's the same fire range. You'll, you'll trade off fire rate for more damage, or you'll trade off fire rate for more distance and range. So there's like some things you'll notice, like, oh, this is the thing's way more powerful, but it shoots a lot slower. Like you'll notice that with a lot well, of Well, let's, up, let's upgrade my laser while I'm here. Do it. Fuck it. Yeah. You got money. Wait, what does crew capacity mean? More people you can put on your ship. Your, your oh, does that, is it going to add an extra crew slot? Or Yeah. Well, I no, it's not so, because yeah. the basic one I have is already one. This needs, may, a, this needs a compare button. That so may I can be actually, that you... No, in Diablo 3, 4, yep. you can just easily yeah. 
see exactly how right. something compares. This does. I just would benefit from. That. I usually ignore numbers like that. I only ever pay attention to range, fire rate, shield damage for lasers. What's a couple of early upgrades you would recommend to the to the starting ship? That I could do right now, just simple things. I mean, I would do the Mantis mission and then upgrade the Mantis shield. Oh no, but I mean, like right now, just with this ship. Like, what can I do right now? Save your money. Save your money. Yeah, okay. you're gonna get better ships that'll be better right. than this. Yeah. All items will be moved to the. What does that mean? Uh, that just means that like, um, certain items that you have will be sent to whatever your cargo hold is. Like, if you replace something, it. Puts oh, the, the old laser will go in the cargo yeah, hold. I believe can so, I then yeah. sell that? Can I, I sell the old one? Um, I don't think so, actually. So what? So what's it doing in my cargo hold? What's the Taking point of space, it? wait. Okay. I feel like I should just be able to, like any vendor, I should be able to sell my old shit, right? Yeah. Yeah, you could sell the whole ship and they give you nothing for it. All right, so let's... Everything let's looks go. good here. Go. I'll be at my booth. One thing I will say, this is a cool looking spaceship. Yeah. The the Adam Savage model of this is fucking amazing. Do you so, see that? Do you see that build that he did? Oh no! He, he built like a, a like a beautiful, beautiful, real model. Of last that. night I last night I kitted out the hell out of it even more out of my own ship, and I've got it all color coordinated and everything. One um, one really cool thing is there's a bunch of different brands, and these different manufacturers have different parts. So right. a lot of these pieces are the Nova Corp. And Nova is, I'd say, the closest thing to like modern day NASA. But then there are other brands that are like, oh, we're better than Nova. We're, we're all about like, yeah, sure, you may look good in that other brand, but right. we're gonna keep you protected. Like there's, there's right. a lot of different shipyards that sell pieces that are exclusive to those shipyards. So okay. it's kind of like going to the Best Buy to find an Apple product that you may not find. But if you go to the Apple store, they'll have it for sure. Right. Okay. Very similar to that. Where is, okay, so I know that I've got a little um, captain's locker here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where is my actual cargo hold on this ship? Right there. Where, what? This, left this screen. little screen, dead center. It says cargo hold, no, to the right. Right there. That thing. What, cargo this hold. thing? Cargo, look up, look up, it says cargo hold. The, the, the screen, the screen. <laughs> right there, right there, stop. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh. Oh, I didn't even know this was here. I thought it was gonna be like a room that I walked into. Oh, that would make a lot of sense. So you could look at that. So also, like hit B right now, Gary? Yeah. Oh, go, sorry, on, go out to like your main screen. Hit the hit the menu that shows you all the like your person, and then at the bottom right the map. I don't know. Is that like select button or whatever? So you could also go to the bottom left, which is your ship. Uh huh. And then hit X for cargo hold, and it'll show you the items oh, you have. So also, okay. if you're near your ship, sometimes on a mission, you could send shit directly to your ship, and not have to go in it and like pull items out or whatever. Well, okay. So I, so answer me this: Why is there a, a, se a separate. Why is this a separate locker than this? A lot of different little, a lot of different ship parts will have different pieces for uh, cargo. And the reason here, it's like I'm assuming it's lore. Like that's a captain's locker. You can't mess with that. When really, it's all just one. You could put separate items in there if you're just role playing. Like no, I and it's I put all my collectibles in there. Or yeah, whatever. the cargo hold too though is where you need to keep your ship parts for repair. They right. have to be in there. Yeah. Right. And then also, it's like where you, you can dump resources really easily and you can sell from there. Yeah. So it's kind of like if you're keeping outfits or keeping keepsakes, yeah, put them in your locker or whatever. And when you get the shielded cargo, that's where you also put the contraband that you find. How did this stuff even get in here? Like, this is the first time I've seen this weapon. <laughs> I've never seen this weapon before. Uh, it, may, huh. it may have come with it already uh, it, because it wasn't your ship initially. Now, I have ship parts, but I think. They're in my locker at the lodge. But that's bad. So would I have to run all the way back there and get them? Yeah, yeah I keep everything in my ship. Okay, well, the, I mean, so again, this is another good discovery. And again, at no point does the game tell me that. Oh, that's your there. parents gave you that. They said, oh, Tad. okay. Your dad gave you the gun. Nice. At no Thanks, point does the game tell me that that's there. I mean, I know it's just like cargo hold. But I've run out. back and forth here so many times. Look how easy that is to miss. Yeah. Like, unless, said, unless I stand here, well, and go this is like my favorite thing about getting a new ship. And then walking around like, where's the fucking captain's right? locker? <laughs> like I, I put it in. Sucks when you stay in a hotel room and you can't figure out where the fucking light switch is. Yeah. 
I love like when I when I board a ship to steal stuff from it. It feels like I'm where looking, is it? It feels like I'm going through the glove compartment yeah, and like yeah. looking for <laughs> collectibles and stuff. All right, where the fuck? Okay, so I fuck, should I fucking go back to the lodge and like get my ship parts? Probably, yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay. I was also also don't ever. They're heavy. Dude. At least I can fast They're travel. They're so like, heavy. Make sure you got. Make sure you got. Like, oh, I, sh I should be able to do it. For the oh, longest yeah. time, I was so over encumbered, and I ended up having like seven ship parts. I in my think inventory. I'm actually pretty good on encumbrance right now. Yeah, I you're great. You have only have forty. Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Children of the sky. Yeah, I've got like a hundred. Okay, so let's try this again. So if I go to my map and go to my surface in quotes map. I should be able to fast travel to the lodge, what right? What Todd Howard says passes for a map. Uh, yeah, so hit, hit Let's the... have some respect for the Christopher Nolan of video games. Yeah, right. Okay, there. that's good at least. All right. And you'll pop right in front of the front door. I kind of wish that all the storage lockers were connected, but I yeah. also get how that would probably be too much of a cheese. That like, would be too easy. Because if essentially, if you've got infinite storage at the lodge and all of your lockers connect to it, you've got infinite storage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they're kind of trying to ground it in that way. You know? Yeah. I also feel like, though, as you continue to play the game and, like, they add stuff to it, we should have some temporal whatever reason that we could get around that. I was also very surprised that the PC version lets you get into the console command. Yeah. Very so, surprised by that because you can legitimately hit the tilde key. Yep. And yep. type in, like, all the codes are out there already. So you can yeah. just type in, like, unlimited digipix or whatever the fucking yeah, thing yeah, yeah, is. Yeah. Oh, I was very shocked I was there. What did I just accidentally pick up there? I don't want that. That's going. Sell it. I kind of want to sell that because I don't need it anymore. Yeah. Uh, so I've got it. Wait, hold on. So I take that. Okay. So re would it be under resources? Ship parts? Um. Yeah. Or miscellaneous. Just do all. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, there you go. Olive Party uh, DM'd me a bunch okay. of instructions for how to mod my stuff. Yeah. Because I love the engines on my ship, but I hate that there's a gold plated accent that you cannot change the color for. Yeah, yeah. So I want to get in there and just make it like either silver or like a steel color or something like that. Gotcha. So you, you, you've got like really into the ship building. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah. Are you like building ships from scratch? Like, what are you no, doing? I, I basically have just been mod. It, like I was talking to Chad, it's like the ship at Theseus thing. It's like, at, it's it was the frontier at one point. Is it still the frontier ship? Because I basically just took the frontier and have completely changed every piece about it. I don't think you can build a ship from scratch. I think we discovered that you have to like just modify other ships. Right, right, right. Uh, okay, so now now I will go to my cargo hold. Uh, and I will go down here because I still don't know where ship parts are. Well, this is the ship. You gotta hit LB. Oh, right, right, right. Good point. You can also sort by weight, and I'm oh, sure. Oh, can you? How do I do that? There, uh, sort left click in, left okay. stick in. Ah. So that's by value now, and then that's by weight. Yeah, it should be at the top, right? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay, so then store, store, store. There you go. Now you're ready. I'm loving it. I don't need that. Ricardo. Wait, what? Why do I have all this on me? Why do I have this? fucking space suit. Dude, I, I have so I, like I got some good clips yesterday. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell that yeah, on next sure. planet I land on. I don't need this space suit. There's a dude in a kilo. It's stolen though, so be careful. You're What's gonna, that? It's stolen though. Oh, careful. is it? Oh yeah, because it's got the, the red flag on it. I mean, that won't get can taken unless the, you get arrested. I, I can sell it at the Crimson Fleet. It's all good. That doesn't... That, that, does that count as contraband? No. Is that no, no, flag? no, no, no but okay. it'll get stolen if... Or it'll get taken if you... Confiscated if you do get arrested. Okay. All right, the cargo hold is, that's a game changer for me. I'm very happy about that. That's very good. So the reason and why remember, I remember, so you can always access that from the start menu. You don't, like, as long as you're, like, if you're standing outside of your ship or here, you don't ever have to go to that screen. You can just go to the bottom left uh, to where your ship is and then hit X for cargo hold. Oh, so I can grab shit out of my cargo hold from anywhere? If you're, if you're next to, Close like, to the if ship. you're within, like. Right. He just means you don't have to, like, run like, in and find the, the cargo hold. Right. Okay. Can I do it from like outside, like right outside? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm learning. I'm learning so much stuff in. that the game should just be teaching but isn't it by rewarding itself. Rewarding and fulfilling <laughs> to find out. So the reason why I got so annoyed, Greg, that you um, that you took off, yeah. is I know this is stupid, but like I never get tired of this. Like I just fucking uh -huh. like sitting in the chair yeah. and doing the takeoff. Like it's super cool. I love it. I wish 
more than anything that this game, you know how in GTA you could hit a button to where it kind of like cinematically shows you driving oh. in from different camera angles? I wish they had that for the ship. Does it bother you at all that you can't, that the landing is a cut, take over landing is a cut, so you can't like contiguously fly down to the surface of a planet? Oh, sure, yeah. Of course. Because I've seen a bunch of people say, oh, well, No Man's Sky does that, and you, they're like really complaining about you it. You can't fly from space to the planet. You will never ever hit the planet if you keep flying. Well, I mean, that's what, that's what Alana did, right? She right. seven hours to Pluto and then like flew through the planet. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I just like being in space. I really like the space combat thing. Andy's taught me a lot. Like, I didn't know that you could do this. If you hold down the option button, mm -hmm. you, can, you can do this and get a, get a cool look at your ship. Do it in third person, too, as you, your actual person. If you're like running around. Right, right, right. No, that's cool. Okay, so let's uh, let's jump somewhere. Let's see. Well, let's see what my let's see what my option. Oh, yeah, I'm doing the um, I'm doing the uh, Freestyle Rangers mission right now. So <laughs> broad diesel. It doesn't bother me at all. It sucks to do it, No Man's Sky. I don't need it. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna go to Polo's orbit. I guess I just don't love that it fades to black. <laughs> okay, Andy, sure. tell me this because this is like a stupid thing. Like, What's up? I want I, I, I want to go to, I want to go here, right? Yeah. So do I do show on map or set course? Uh, set course. Yeah, hit okay. X. We'll go straight to it. Okay. Okay. And good. Then jump. All right. Yeah. And then just jump. Okay. Thank you. Come thank on you. and jump. And all the jump. I just love all the jump, anim jump animations and like systems powering up. Like, yeah. I just love all the trappings of this. Like that right there. Like, the, the, it's the like, hyperspace animation is when, cool. When I warp in and then like, people come at me, I'm like, oh shit, I gotta take down all my weapons. Yeah. And throw up ga grab drive as fast as possible to try to get out of there. Like, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. This is Ranger Nia if anyone is hearing this, Ooh. Failing. Ooh. Help. Help, Help woman. Is that her there? No, I think it's this. This is Freestar Collective Space. Oh, yeah. Scan your ship. So pan up. Is this who I'm no, trying no, to help? Pan, right there, right there. Your path. Your oh, this path. Right. You see the top left blue. What can I do oh. for you? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. No. Mm. How much, let me ask you, so how much are you liking this game so far overall? I'm loving it. Because so I... I can't put it down. I feel like I've... Like, my... My opinion of this game has, like... Hockey sticked up in the last 24 hours. I went from like, yeah, it's kind of fun, but some things are annoying me to now. I'm like, something clicked, and I'm like, fuck, I'm really enjoying this now. Well, I was telling, um, I was telling Greg and Tim that I, I restarted my whole playthrough. I was at like 30 hours on the Xbox PC app, then I switched to Steam, restarted all over, and all the little nitpicks. I now that I know how to deal with them, I'm a lot more okay with kind of circumventing all the tiny problems that I've had with the game. But um, yeah, I was, uh, it, it's, for me, it's like the child fantasy that I had of building Lego ships out of other Star Wars Lego ships. Right. And like, this is, that's my baby and I'm in space with my ship and like all of my crewmates are here and I'm gonna go do missions and help people and fuck some people over. It's But awesome. this is my favorite kind of thing. We talked about this the other day. Like, I was supposed to be going to do a Freestyle Ranger mission. I jump into this system, and, like, now I'm doing... Now Now this is happening. Mm -hmm. like, it's just, you, can, you constantly get, like, distracted and, like, oh, okay, let's, while we're here, let's do this. All right. So I, I'm guessing this was the where they wanted me to, to board, right? Yeah, I don't... Okay. Ah, you like! Yikes! Does, does this open? No? Oh, what? No, I, wait. Did you go to the wrong ship? Did I go to the wrong ship? I no, think... I guess it's only 25 meters that way. Yeah, but go Maybe up. It's it's I think it might be another level. Is it up? You can uh, come up here and step off the side, and then probably walk straight, and you'll be wherever they want you to go. I also, for here, I just double just jump. Step off, step oh, 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 oh. I just double jump off. Jump? Okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, so we're going to go over here. Oh, shit, what's this all about? Okay. Tummy ache. <laughs> Diary. <laughs> Please tell me you're here to help. Not to try and steal my ship. What should we do here? I mean, I don't know how you're playing Dakota. I haven't decided yet either. I would show badge, but that's how I played. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, if you want to keep that badge, then don't get any ideas. This old girl and I have been through a lot together. 
I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. Just patch her up enough to get to Hopetown. The rest can get fixed up there. On it. I kind of want to go full out, like space asshole do renegade. It. I don't know. I don't, I don't think Dakota would do that, but you know. You wrote her. You know her. Well, I mean, it's a different bit of a different Dakota. Different, okay, so what? Okay, so what? Am I look? I have to fix some systems around yeah, the ship, yeah, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's let's try it. He's breaking it worse. <laughs> let's see what we got here. Okay, yeah, we got some. Got some sparking shit here. Never good. Video game language for something that needs yep. to be fixed. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, got that. Oh, oh literally just flip a switch? All right, fine. <laughs> like, all right, I can do that, yeah. No something problem. up there, looks like. Okay. Yeah, I think you gotta go back to that ladder. You uh, know. Where's that ladder? Where'd I leave that behind? I eat such a terrible sense of direction in video games. Yeah, it's I behind get so you fucking turned around. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. All right, let's go. I think there's one down here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is literally just like go around and yeah, just a quick and, and, and hit these three buttons. things and okay. come back and talk to me. Are you cold? What's up? Are you cold? No. Fucking freeze. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. Where was she? Like on the mid level? Like yeah, mid level. Remember. Yeah, yeah. It's a cool looking ship. Yeah. Thanks. That should get me home. You're right. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. We can't let that Was happen. Was your wife playing this one? No, she's still hardcore into Zelda. Gotcha. She, I mean, she's she's been enjoying watching me play sure, it. Sure, sure, sure. Um, she's interested. She's interested in the game, but I don't. Oh, she actually said, like, I don't know. Maybe I think she mentioned, like, oh, maybe I would be interested in playing this. Uh, let's see. They look to be heading for Polvo's Moon Miatha. The problem is that, like, she's like so hardcore into Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. yeah and yeah. then when Spider-Man Two comes out, yeah. it's all over. Too many. There's too, too many, many good games. games what a year. year! Best year. Too. It really is. I think this is going to go down. East. I said on the. It said on the stream the other day. Like if you are like somehow complaining or unhappy about the state of video games in 2023, you need to get a new hobby. Yeah. 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 It's not going to get much better. Because trust me, the problem is you. Okay. So. Oh shit! Back up to me. Come on. Back up now. Where's the, uh, the, the dock is all the way at the top, right, I think? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Is it over here? Yep, no ladder over here. See, I remember I said about getting turned around. You were right there, you were right there. It's there. Oh, it's Just there, okay, right, right. Remember, everybody, we are Kind of Funny Games. You're watching on Twitch.tv or YouTube.com. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Remember, of course, Gundog is available next week. It's Gary's second novel. Yeah, you can get it right now from Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Target, Walmart, directly from the publisher, inkshares.com. Kind of uh, slash Gundog. Yeah, wherever books are sold. All right, so where, where am I at currently? What's the new thing? Go to Miatha. Okay. Miatha. Go to Miatha. All right. Miatha is working. Let's see what the deal is there. And the missions. Okay. Set course. As I'm starting to, you know, you get to a point where just the muscle memory kicks in, and you start to like, yeah, 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 like all the basic ways of doing. Like it's, I'm starting to, I'm spending less time like trying to figure out how to play the game and more time just playing the game. Yeah, exactly. I'm it's at that. I'm at that legs. point. Thank you for the uh, gifted subs. O M G. -L I definitely think this game could do a better job of onboarding you in the in the in the first few hours because there's so much going on. Yeah. Okay, what do we got here? Ooh, you oh, got oh, bogeys. Oh, 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 Don't oh, worry oh, oh, about that. You got three bogeys. Yeah, but I'm paused now, right? Yeah, so you're I can spell, let's spend the point. Spenny Bacon just ordered the book. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, what should I spend a point on? 
I haven't put anything in tech. Huh? Well, you did piloting. Pilot? What does piloting give me? You can now utilize ship thrusters. How, is that helpful? What's is that good thrusters? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I I didn't do much. I didn't do any of my tech stuff until I got into ship battles that I was having trouble with. Unlocks ship targeting functionality. What is that? I wonder what that. Does. Missile weapons are favorite. You click on it. It'll tell you more. I think. Uh, right. Oh, you. But I think what it does is it allows you to target specific sections of the ship. So oh. you can shoot the engines. You can shoot the shields. Right. Target their shields. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Boost pack. Boost pack. Boost. I do enjoy. Is that for when you're in zero G? No, it's when you're just running around a planet, or the any, when you're running around. You oh. Boost pack. So like again for like you and me getting annoyed by uh, getting winded. Run, run, run. Boost. Oh. Keep gliding. Come down. Your run, run, run. Boost. Okay. Let's get it. Boost jump ten times. Is that, and is that something that all packs have that? They all have yeah. the boost ability? Okay. I believe so, at least I've never... All the ones I've used have. All right. So I'm going to boost jump ten times while in combat. And is it just the regular jump button that's going to do that for me? Yes. Okay. Right. Why? All right. Have we got bogeys, by the way? We got three oh, we bogeys, bogeys off bogeys. the bow. They are the mission. We're going right. to want to lock onto them Let's and shoot the lock shit onto out of these them. motherfuckers. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I gotta put some points in missiles. Shit, fuck. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I gotta remember how to do this. Remember, so tap on them, hit A, so you lock onto them. And then, you, once get you get my, locked get on, you can up. fire a missile off at them. Right now, it's a Fuck you! Uh, I love space combat. There aren't no space combat games. I was really worried about it because I, I don't like space combat. Got him. Fuck but you. But I think they do a really nice job with it where I do enjoy this. Bro, oh, my shields are down. Fuck. Time. Oh, God. Basic maneuvers, Gary. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm just going to fuck this guy up. All right, well. Fuck you. One more down here. Lock on. Fuck you. Another lock. Come on. I'm out. Oh, I'm out of missiles. Fuck. Oh, there it is. Fuck you. Oh, I need more points in missiles. You got him. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fucking how you do it. Now you gonna loot their corpses here? Now is there any? Uh, is there any shit for me to pick up? Yeah, you right there. Stop. Right there. Just click on that. One. Oh, it's marks for me. Okay. Yeah, hit A on that, and then you can get over here. If you hit A, it'll tell you how far away you are. There you go. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's get over there. 500, you'll be able to loot it. Oh, I've actually got fucking bonus, bonus points. Oh, some shit parts, nice. Got some in my grav. Why, 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 why wouldn't I go in my grav drive? Okay, whoa, You're gonna whoa, smash whoa, into whoa, it, whoa, 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 I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Where'd it go? Still there, you got it. You're, you got it. Just tap A. Get oh, I do? Credits, you need uranium ship oh, parts. Yep. All set. Uranium ship parts. You I'll take that. that. You want all that. Some more over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lock in on that shit. Do a little boosty boosty. I'm telling you, this game is fucking fun once you yeah. like, get, get it under your belt. I really, I do really like that you can just steal shit out of the, uh, just like loot the, the cargo of, of ships that you've destroyed. You got it already. Yeah, there you go. Give me all that shit. Yep, yep, yep. Anything left? Yeah, you got we should have one, one more, more over here. Okay. There, thirteen hundred meters out. Coming in fast, Captain. Look, I got it. I got it. Hey, man, I'm your co-pilot. Right? Is there anything else? Now. That's it. Oh, that's the planet. Okay. I think I'm pretty good at this game. You're killing it. You're crushing it. I don't know what Paris was talking about. Welcome to Free Star Space. We're going to do a quick scan for contraband and you can so be no on your way. says, I'm surprised to see Gary's a first person ship pilot. Yeah, I know some people like to do it like this, right? I guess I could. I was first person as well. What do you like to do? Yeah, for, I was first I, person. I like to feel like I'm in the cockpit. You yeah. Know? I 
I guess I got a dock with this station. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. I, uh, or is it pointing you towards the surface? I can't tell. Is it a thousand meters when you can hail and dock? Like no, nah, five hundred as well. But like, all right. Okay, yeah, no, this is. Shouldn't I be able to dock by now? What no, am I five, missing? 500. When you get to 500, you'll be fine. Now you can dock. Well, no. hit A. You're not ta targeting it. No, I've got it targeted. There you go. No, that's the planet map now. Okay. Where's my option to dock? I don't know. Are we sure this is the mission? or is it? Oh, you know what it might be? It might be... Uh, I might have to land on the planet. Let's go past it. Hold on. What's this What's this market showing me over here? That's, that's on the planet. That's the surface, mission you've selected. Then there, but there is a mission on that station because it had the white dot on it. Open planet map. It's gonna gonna be a landing zone, right? Yeah, I think. Yeah, Hope Town is where you're trying to get okay. to. Hope Town is where I'm going. Yeah, it's up there uh, over the ridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Land it. All right. Let's see what's down here. Who knows? Adventure. Yeah, I like all the stories Paris was telling about going to planets and just landing at random sites, not anything related to anything. Yeah. I've, I did that a couple of times early on, because they kind of like, okay, well, let's, you know, let's see what happens if I do go to a random planet. Yeah. Ooh, what do we got here? Alberto one, Greg. Do you think Nick is gonna like this game? Uh, man, hard as hell. I don't know. I don't actually remember where Nick comes down in Bethesda RPGs usually. Didn't like it enough not to go to Greece though, you know. Let's go see what the deal is. What's the deal? What's the deal? I don't want to hear any complaints. <laughs> Playing the wrong game then. <laughs> <laughs> Just staring at a plant. Ron hopes the best What's that? Thing These people who are just standing in the middle of nowhere staring at plants. I mean, there's a couple of videos going around like showing the really janky behavior in yeah, this game. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's a, like, a cop is standing there and you can just like, be fucking firing your weapon and he just doesn't give a shit. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see what this is all about. We're here on official Free Star Ranger business. Oh, okay. What's the deal with this company? You made it. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust? Oh, right. It's her that I saved from the ship. Yeah. Seems fine, though. Should have maybe, you know, done her own dirty work. Good. But... I'm sure it didn't hurt that I softened him up for you. She was down like she was wounded, yeah, right? right? But a courier just, just a tummy ache. Eli. The marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. Should we look around or go meet the dude? Go meet the dude. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. Okay, now I've got to follow her. Is this Lucy James? No, no. that's the, that woman's on Aquila City. Okay. The Lucy James look. There's like. a Fel you know there's a, a, a Felicia Day as well. No, no, I didn't know that. Anyway. You hang out there all the time now. What's that? You hang out with her all the time. We, I'm play, I mean, I'm, I'm in her Baldur's Gate party. We play a couple of times a week. Yeah. I, re I, I, I don't think it's something that could be easily modded in or added, but like, we, we keep talking about how like we want campaign co-op for this. Like, why can't two of us be running around doing this Sure, sure, sure. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. Is this like a shipbuilder? What is this? Yeah, they build a bunch of ships. Is it like Boeing in the future or something? Try to show a little respect. Who's this fucking guy? What's your dude? You walk the factory floor? Oh, it's impressive stuff. Alright. Mason Dude says, anyone else kind of feel like there should be a poo poo pee pee mechanic so you can use the toilet? They modded like multiplayer into oh. Elden Ring super fast as well, right? Co op? That didn't take long. That came and and that didn't came they add it officially? But it was, mo it was modded first. In Elden Ring? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It launched with that. What? It launched Elden Ring. You, I don't think Elden Ring launched with co-op. I, I didn't really play it, so I don't know. It did. I don't think it did. It got added in. Really? I mean, I'm not an Elden Ring fan, says, so, you know. No, I, neither am I. That's why I don't know that much about it. But I know that people are going, oh, now you can play in co-op. You contract with scavengers, maybe, but that's a decision that's got to be made upstairs. 
Talk to Elaine about this scavenge. It's oh, no okay. Ramsey says Elden Ring launched with co-op, but a mod added CDs co-op. I mean a good deal. Remember, it's not just our bottom line that matters. We're also responsible for the well -being. So what's seamless co-op? Let's drop in, drop out. Yeah, I think so. Look out for our people here, Burchett. That's a point of great personal pride. Um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope. Well now. Matthew says the mod made co-op easier. Uh, weren't burdened by passwords and item requirements. Got it. I don't mind interactions like this, but uh -huh. it's, it's when it goes into that like one-on-one. -on -one oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's when I, it, yes, it feels very flat to me. This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid! It's a noble calling, being a free star ranger. We certainly could use more of you. Let's get down to it, shall we? Time is money. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen You're telling me, Ron? right out of the factory. Justice must be done, and the sooner All right. the better. That's oh yeah, I did a mission goodness. earlier where one of their stolen oh, ships. Yeah. I, I just happened to find it. Of course, that doesn't mean your work is done. I want the thief found and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors. We get it, Ron. You're a big deal. You'd better learn some respect. Deputy, one dispatch to Aquila City, and I can end your brief career in the Free Star Rangers. Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind. Hmm? Mm. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Sadly, there's no lack of mercenaries in the settled systems. I suppose the chance to cut costs by stealing a ship was too good to pass on. Well, I'm not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. What? Nonsense! We vet our people thoroughly here. Hotel holds its employees to the very highest standards. Nevertheless, I suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a This is the kind of out of dr amateur dramatics voice acting that I'm talking assured. about. Yeah, this yeah. is this it does not happen in Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't happen in Diablo 4. It, an accomplice. Yeah. it will be a, but Diablo 4 is just like, oh, they killed my son and made me eat the bones, and then a demon came. Shannon Woodward has responded to our gun dog advertisement. Oh, did she? She says, Greg, that was mean in all caps. Greg, that was mean? Yeah. Why was it mean? Remember, I, I said the best part of the book is you don't have to hear oh. its voice. Yeah. That, okay, yeah, that, 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 that was horrible. Is it, is it up somewhere? It's everywhere. Uh, I mean, I know it went out as part of the stream. But yeah, like, no, I put it on TikTok and Instagram and oh, YouTube. You're a fucking Twitter, or Twitter. legend. <laughs> you're a real one, Greg. I know, you're a brother. gentleman and a scholar. Kindoflay.com slash gundog, ladies and gentlemen. We questioned everyone who was in the building when it happened. Not one person seems to have seen anything at all. Frankly, I think that's both highly unlikely and more than a little suspicious. However, I can't deny there are times when the hangar is empty, so it's not inconceivable the thief could have slipped in unseen. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna ask all the questions. Do it. Well, I mean, you're no, a cop. Nothing. You know, you're you're a good cop. You're a I'm a detective. Good cop. I gotta I gotta Standard play out my leads. Cargo. You do the Columbo where you're about to leave. And go, you know, what? one more thing. Just one more thing. Yeah. <laughs> Home tech. Build some of the most durable and reliable starships in the settled systems. Now you can bet my ships last twice as long as anything Stroud Eklund makes. Fuck you, Stroud. Because I told them not to. If word got out. It would do irreparable harm to our image. I'm in fierce competition. This is what they call hamming it up. Other starship manufacturers. Overacting. A lot of people, are, when he popped up, I didn't know, just calling out that he's he's uh, somebody important uh, in more. Oblivion Every and like Skyrim and oh, stuff. Oh, this so guy's maybe like, he's trying to give this that is a, like, 
He's, he's probably been around a while. Okay. Bethesda. Who would would likely flock to Hope Town? It's like the fucking John it's Ratzenberger of, of Bethesda. Time. Exactly. <laughs> Very well. I need you to understand something, Deputy. This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Town for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. <laughs> Look at his eyes. <laughs> A ranger's first duty. All his emotion is carried in his eyebrows. Free this is what you're talking about with like Hall of Presidents. Your carelessness Disney. costs mm -hmm. my workers their livelihoods. Then you've utterly failed. I'm gonna save. Duty. I'm gonna hard save here and then kill this guy. That cool. Deputy. Oh. Yeah, you're about to get fucking murdered. Not now, Trent. I'm in the middle of something. But sir, we have new information. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was My God, not Neon. neon. Oh, gets to go back to Neon. Great city. Space <laughs> cyberpunk. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> well, deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon, which means I, I don't like this guy's attitude. Hard save. Give him an attitude. Hard save, and let's go fucking wild. My people are depending on you. Hey, can I get a word? One second, Neon. Quick save will count, right? Yeah, but do a hard save to be safe. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna do a hard save just to be sure. I don't trust quick saves. I don't like them at all. I don't trust them. I had to go through and edit my saves because it was taking so long to upload. I only, I only, okay, I only typically have one save. No, that's bad. Don't do that. What if a bug happens? You're screwed. Look, look. I mean, look how like I, I never, like I, I hardly ever hard save. I hard, hard saved save after ten minutes. For every some hard reason. save. Everything else is either an auto save. Or Everybody, quick save don't or... be like this. Hard save. Make multiple hard saves. Okay, there's my hard save. All right, you ready? Yep. It's fucking. It's probably, it's probably gonna be one of those that you can't kill. Now, okay, it's a, it's a small thing, but like, is nobody bothered by this? Him not being Does he not die? care that I fucking? Oh no! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I was wrong. Damn! I didn't see that coming. Can I melee her? Yeah, well, I mean, you're trying to. Oh, that was hard shooting her in the back. Oh, she's down. Yeah. Okay, so she can't. Throw a grenade. Ah! She can't die. She's, she's mission critical. Oh no, neither can he, huh? Because he's down on all fours too. He's done. Frag out. Oh shit, that's the woman that I just helped. Yeah? She's a free star oh, right burning. It was probably getting shot with incendiary. Oh, they sort of looking at incendiary at me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. I forgot what's on my quick wheel. Uh, let me see, what else we got? Well, you need health. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do health in All a right, second. Alright, make sure, just make sure. I'm gonna do health in a second. Counterfeit.com slash gun dog. <laughs> I know I can do this from the quick wheel, but I just wanna make sure I get it right. Right here. And knock back a beer too. I just wanna see how long <laughs> I can go in full oh. nutty mode. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, look at this fucking thing, alright. Oh, God. Is that burn effect ever going to fucking well, turn yeah, off? Do a, do a drop and roll. Do crouch, 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 crouch. How do you, how do, you do that? Crouch, 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 crouch. Well, there you go. I like this, uh, I like this uh, beam. Particle beam. Fucking reload is on this. Brutal. Yeah. She's still alive, dude. Yeah, they all are. But it's because they're like, they're mission critical. Like, they, they're main path critical. What else, what else when I, when I did my first hour with it, I immediately start shot Walter in the uh, lodge. Have you used? Have you used this? This is fun. The dead eye. It only has two bullets though. Fucking works though. Look at that. Nice. Get down. What else have I got? What have I got left? Not. I know much. Left. I got this. This old 1911. Let's fucking use that. Uh, the chat's turning against you. Moses French Toast says, Gary Witta, I heard your comments the other day about Stargate, and I am disappointed. For shame, sir, for shame. Yeah, I'm not a Stargate fan. Uh, it was funny when uh, she was like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, 
It's like Star Trek's great, Stargate, and you're like, I want to go that far. And then she's like, what, you want to talk about it? And you're like, let's move on. <laughs> Alright, well that's... That's yeah, pretty good. Maybe I can, I can probably pick up some weapons, right? Oh yeah. She's still alive? Yeah. There's certain people who just can't die. Oh, okay. Because they're like, you need them for the story. So if you did it, it would break the game. Like Ron This guy's very chill. I thought I killed him. You can't kill him. That's what I'm oh, saying. You if can't... they go down on all fours, they can't and then die. They get, and then they get back up? Yeah. That's not realistic. No, it's, it is realistic. <laughs> uh, what else we got? What else we got? Ooh. 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 Shiny. Ooh. Ooh. Shiny. Shiny. I can't still talk to her, can I? <laughs> no, I think right, you probably have to clear your bounty and get out of here. Oh, I don't want this fucking pea shooter, this thing. Oh, I'm st I'm, st I'm starting to feel bad about this. I feel like I shouldn't have done these things. <laughs> okay, I've, I've got the video game guilt. Oh, no! Oh, he went down. Oh, glitchy, 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 glitchy man! Glitchy man! Oh, I've got no... Okay, I'm, just, I'm obviously going to die soon. Yeah, he's right. This one, uh, this is the... I'm, I'm going to fucking go out in a blaze of glory, though. This is the five stars. Are you going to hide in the toilet? Oh, I can't do this! I can't do it! The geezer's got a gun! He's got a shooter, the geezer! This is your chance to be a hero, Hopetown Security. One shot that's with that not, gun and he dies! That's not cover, is it? Boom! Oh, well, it was fun while it lasted. Dakota. K.O. K.O. He's has gone to sleep. And so you call me for the calm down. It's not just everyone at some point does that, right? 100%. In every game. You hard save and then you just go buck wild. 100%. Right? Yeah, yeah. of course. Now you go talk to Nia while Ron just looks out the door with Where'd his body go? twisted. Oh yeah, she wants to talk to me out here, okay. Okay. Okay, let's talk about next steps. That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. I'm gonna I think I'm Not leading completely. into being a, a dickhead. Still yeah. a lead worth following. Good. We'll play that. I don't no, think it makes any difference. For neon. Maybe There's it does, I don't know. People be like Name's rude to you. Price. He's a little different. I love the way it works in Mass Effect 2, where if you go for a renegade, your face starts getting all fucked up. Yeah. Neon Street Rat. Are we going to go to Neon? Because I love Neon. Neon's my favorite place in the game. It's a re I think it's one of the best well, landing areas. Like, Jemison's really generic. Like, just do like, like, like generic Star it's Trek, Mass Effect, exactly. Capital Planet. It's way too clean. It's generic way too core clear. planet. Aquila is just fucking Firefly Planet, yeah. right? Yeah. Um... Neon is cool. I mean, Neon, as you could say, it's Cyberpunk Planet, but it's cool. I like Neon. It's got a good vibe. Yeah. Cause what other core planets are there? Break up a scuffle among some of the engineers. Is that it? Is it those three of the main core ones? Yeah. Yeah. Who helped the Starship thief is well, you, you know, you see on New Atlantis, Free Stars, I'll keep an ear to the Kila. Ground. You be careful in Neon. Okay. Got some rewards. You'd be dust except for the factory. So what's my current... Okay, we're gonna go to Neon. Fucking yeah, let's go. I love Neon. Let's go to... Uh, go do some drugs on Neon. Go to Afterlife. Oh no, that's Mass Effect. But it feels like it's here too. Oh wow! Well, I can I don't e I can I can just fast travel from I don't even have to walk back to the ship. No. That's cool. That's super, what I think I like. it's once you discover it, you can do that. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean that's like uber fast travel. Yeah. Okay. I gotta do, do not fuck up my shit. I gotta go back to the bathroom. Ah. Fucking wide headsets. What is this? 1989. It's the only way to do the it. The wireless, dude. You know. Well, 
Frank Reddick has had enough of bad people at Neon City, so he's taking the law into his own hands. Neon Security is making their move to take down Dakota. But they're not aware Dakota doesn't care. Yannick Legrade. <laughs> Legrand wanted. Ah! <laughs> Sir Livingston's pistol actually might be a better move for me. Now I got you. It's a cool pistol. I got the game. I had this pistol off of a random find. I didn't, I didn't have you a mom and dad to raise me like Gary did. Silver Spoon and Dakota. No. Come running in. Not in my city, bunk, they say. You know, random ass citizens are doing this. I said, don't fuck up my shit. I'm getting you a I'm room at the hotel. I'm surprised that our luxury oh accommodations God. are more than reasonable I'll leave price. you alone for five minutes. <laughs> That's, my hotel is completely free from Who's administrative influence. Who's this person? Influence. She runs the hotel. So can... why, why, why are we checking into a hotel? Indeed it does. I was just checking. I was talking to the citizens in Neon. My own ingenuity to make it happen. But that's a story for another time. So, can I book you a room for the night? What is that going on in the background? Why is my controller rumbling? I think you're getting shot at by a robot. I don't know why. You know. You mother! What have you fucking done? I don't know. You know, everything's fine. Well, what the fuck have you done? Friends. You piece of shit! I'm friends with Sticks. Sticks fuck here to be. Fuck off! Who's this fucking it's guy? Sticks, man. Sticks plays these games sometimes. Did you fucking hard say before you did that shit? I did, of course. You <laughs> fucking... Ah, what the fuck? Oh, man. oh man, Sticks didn't like that. I hate to see it. Kindofunny.com slash gun dog. I'm not gonna talk to you now. It's funny. Nothing, nothing happened. Dakota's still here. Dakota's ready to play. 
But yeah, you're gonna have to load because this is gonna keep killing. Wait, hold on. Sticks. It's back. You. No, this is your auto save. This is why I don't trust it. Yeah, so I know. Load. Don't panic. Go to the one right there, the, the, the number two. You're gonna be fine. I, I knew we wouldn't get through. The, the you gotta test the boundaries some sometimes. Like that. Chris in the chat says Gary got gunned down, dog. Because <laughs> he's making a gun dog reference. It's so annoying because like you you you, 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 did, you did go above and beyond with the trailer and everything. So yeah, like I yeah. can't be too angry at you. Look, you're right back. Everything's fine. You got all your yeah. ammo, all your health. I do like neon. It's great. I thought it was going to be more like Space Las Vegas yeah. than Space Cyberpunk, which I guess is kind of what this is. Yes, yeah, yeah. But I do like it. You got to have a, you know, there's certain boxes you got to check, right? Where are we going? Are we going over here? Where are we? Get out of my way. Where are we going? How late do you want to, like, uh, what do you want to do? Mike's on my right saying we're done. <laughs> we're wrapping up? Yeah. Okay. You Ladies wanna, you and gentlemen. It now? Yeah. Okay. This has been us playing Starfield. Me and, of course, the rogue one, at Gary Witta. Remember, of course, Gary's got a new book out, or about to be out, called Gundog. You can get your copy at kindoffunny.com slash gundog. Or, of course, wherever you get books. Isn't that right, Gary? Yeah, it's everywhere. You can get it from Amazon. You can go and buy it directly from the publisher, inkshares.com slash books slash gundog. Uh, or Amazon, Walmart, Target, Barnes & Noble, local independent booksellers. It's also on Am uh, Apple iBooks. Um, and, of course, Amazon Kindle, if you like eBooks. Yeah. And um, don't do this, because I, 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 I won't make any money, but you can just go listen to the whole uh, audiobook version for free. Uh, just search for Gundog wherever you get your podcasts. Shannon Woodward, Troy Baker, Austin Wintry. Very, very cool uh, audio adaptation of the book. Um, but, yeah, go... Go pick it up. It's my second novel. I'm really proud of it. Yeah, it's great. And uh, I hope people enjoy it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed this stream. We hope you enjoy the book. Remember, we're twitch.tv slash kindoffunnygames, youtube.com slash kindoffunnygames. You can find us streaming games all the time and do all sorts of stuff. Hey, if you go to patreon.com slash kindoffunny right now, in about an hour, you can watch us review the cuckoo that's right we're returning to conjuring in review and reviewing the nun 2 uh, of course if you watch that live as we record it without any ads yada 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 but more importantly for right now you can go to kindoffunny.com slash gundog and get your copy of gundog until next time it's been our pleasure to serve you but I'm like unaware of if they end it from in here or in the, I don't know. the stream room. Are we still going? I don't know. Well, if I start talking about talking shit about people in chat is that gonna please I've been begging you for a long time to talk shit about Naomi Kyle Oh, you how can I mean? you do that? She's like the <laughs> nicest person. I know, I know, but this would be the chance to do it. She's so Star She's playing Starfield. Yeah, I know she. She is. made like a space Naomi. It looks just like her. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if we're live or not. So I'm gonna, I, I told we, Mike he said to end it. So well, I, ended I mean, it, but. yeah, look, we're still live. Amy Gill says, "How dare you, Greg? I didn't say anything. I said Gary should talk shit about Naomi, not me. I'd never say anything bad about Naomi. Neither she's would great. I. She's like literally one of my." favorite people she's one of the nicest people like i literally could not think of it like i can think of at least one bad thing to say about most people i couldn't think of a single bad thing to say about i people. think you say you can think of, you know oh with well, you yeah, i mean it's a whole fucking how long have you got we gotta end yeah are yeah. we done yeah mm -hmm. well no kevin's here to end it but oh okay i don't want people hearing all the bad things gary has to say about me you know we'll do that off stream we don't have time <laughs> maybe when we do one of those subathons <laughs> like for, for every sub, I'll fill the thermometer, and Gary will say something mean about Greg for another five minutes. Bye, everybody. Have a great weekend. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>